Hey, hey. I'm going to play you a little intro, then I'll come back and we'll get into this. For some reason, it didn't want to load right, so I've got to do it the long way. Oh, why didn't it load right? I don't know. Sorry, guys. It just didn't load right. Here you go. Home in the valley. Home in the city. Home isn't pretty. Hey, hey, let me get my banner on. Let me get my background music because the people I'm going to play tonight, I need it. So over playing it though, really. Let's see, what do we want to do? Feeding the ducks? No, let's do some night driving. Yeah, we'll do some night driving. I can't with shouldn't be shouldn't even have to do it but let's say hi hey kcg yeah i see now i know who spanky is kcg i've reviewed him remember yeah he, he he's got his turn coming his number's coming it's just these other ones are a little worse right now 
Hey, Hope for Snoopy. Hey, Mark. No, it so they it was Dylan. That's the remains they found. Oh, that's so sad. I mean, it's good that Dylan was found, but it's sad that had another life lost. Hey, Chris Cross. Hey, Maureen. Hey, Skip to my Luke. Good to see you. Hey, Helen. Did you eat, Helen? Are you going to eat? You best eat. You go ahead. You take your time. Hey, Starry Night. Hey, K. Kang Canugas. Good to see you. Hey, Marion. That's just, that's sad. That's just sad. Wow. Hey, Miss Brittany. What's with the Miss Brittany? Oh, I know why you changed your name. I know why you added the Miss. Because of Brittany J. <laughs> hey, Sue. Good to see you. Never lose hope. Hey. I can hardly stand that Betty will get a hold of this tomorrow. Oh, yeah. She will. Hey, nonsense. Yeah, you can do StreamYard free. You can do... The only reason why I pay is because it's not enough time for me. But if you're not going to stream like I do, in the beginning... I did StreamYard, and I kept it under the free time. But yeah, you you can you can do it free for, there's so many hours you get free. And a lot of people it works for. And then when I would run out of StreamYard, I would use Restream. But then Restream got really wanky, and it just doesn't play videos well. And they kept telling me, oh, no, no, we'll fix it. We'll get, we'll figure it out. Well, <laughs> three months, and they never figured it out. So with Restream, it was like, one out of every 10 videos would play good. So I just would run out of time with StreamYard. That's the only reason why I upgraded. But yeah, you can do StreamYard. For, I think it's up to like 25 hours in a month or something like that. Yeah, I, In the beginning, it was enough for me. Um, I just read something on Twitter that has me dumbfounded. Uh-oh. Hey, blonde one. Boink, boink. Uh, mm. Well, you know, stupidity never stops. And I just want everybody to know, everybody to remember one thing. These people are putting out all this crap. All these phony, I call them phony accusations because there's no evidence. Just remember that they are just that. They're not facts. And there's nothing's been proven. I'm sick of these people. I don't know why this came up on my timeline. Um, but some channel came up. That's a that's spirit boxes with two cell phones. And she was doing Sebastian Rogers. And she was the spirit boxes, both the phones were talking at the same time. Apparently to her, communicating with her and her calling people or somebody in her chat. She's a real small channel. You know, I'm a I'm a tiny girl, but she's even tinier. Um I think she had like four or five hundred subs. But yeah, she was saying all kinds of things about Sebastian and and where he's at and that the moms don't know it, it was insane I don't even know how it came up on my timeline probably because I reviewed a couple of the wackadoodles um you know that reverend psyche psychic reverend and you know I don't know <clears throat> hey Helen F it's crazy Innocent until proven guilty. You're right. Okay, Brittany. <laughs> um, but according to Betty, it's guilty until proven innocent. That's Betty's motto. 
That and she is the receipt. <laughs> That's an awful receipt. <laughs> That's an awful receipt. Hey, Lurker. I'm going to start this video because I might pop in and my kids have to go to bed in two minutes. My I may I brushed her teeth, did my hugs and kisses, but hubby's putting them to bed. But I still might want to go in and say goodnight. Because... Okay, now, I don't know, do y'all want to pick up where we left off with old Slimy Slime? Or do you just want to hold off on her and do this 111 true crime? They had some interesting things to say, so I looked up some articles. Now, the articles are very long, very detailed. Uh, I'm not going to read them all, but I will share the links if you want to go read them. You're Hey, Savage. Wow, thanks for coming in. I appreciate it. Hey, Thor. Um, I'll have the links in the description. You can uh, go read the links. Betty. Oh, Betty. Betty, Betty, Betty. I honestly... <laughs> uh... Slimy's world. She's, she don't, I don't think this woman sleeps. If she does, I, not by much. I mean, damn, I get wanting, you know, to put out content, but holy hell. Jeez, a man. Give it a break. Give it a rest. Maybe close your eyes for a couple hours. I don't know. It might make all the difference. Um, and that, there's a lot of these people that don't sleep much, it seems. Hey, Slim Jim. They just like... Hey, K-Mash. They just like to go live, I guess. Um, yeah. I like, I like YouTube. Hey, Truth Warrior. And I love you guys in the chat. But no, I need a break too. You know, I, I got, I gotta go breathe air, touch the ground. Um, remember that these people are just freaking tragedy vultures, tragedy pimps slash crime tours. <clears throat> and every day there's more popping up. That lady today would, I, I thought is. I didn't know you could use cell phones for your spare boxes. And she had two going. And then there was somebody sitting on her couch. I swear, I thought it was a, a mannequin or something because the person didn't move for like 20 minutes. And then all of a sudden moved. I was like, oh hell, this is too freaky for me. I mean, did not move. Was like a statue. I was like, this is creepy. But her phone started talking to each other. It was bonkers. She might not get many more subs doing that kind of stuff. Hey, uh, so, hey, Earth, who do, who's going to believe that? Who in their right mind is going to sit there and believe that these two cell phones were talking to each other and they were spirits telling her all about Sebastian Rogers and where he was? Hmm. Lord help you if you do. Okay, we only got the last couple minutes of this one to do because it was getting nasty. So I I had to shut. Um, but we'll finish this one up because this is she gets even more disgusting. I know it's hard to believe, but this slimy chick she really needs to change her name. The slimy, not Smiley's world. She really needs to get that elementary school poster taken down because there's nothing smiley about her. Um, no, I couldn't get it. To, I couldn't. The water might have got it. Yeah. Here. Okay. I'm hoping my computer don't shut off, but I think it's going to anyway. Okay. This is where we left off yesterday. I'll back it up just a little bit to refresh your memory. Don't worry, I got extra weights if anybody needs weights for their hands. Because, hey, Sheila, sitting on their hands with this one, 
isn't enough. I had my husband go out to the garage to get me some damn weight plates. You know, the kind Betty said was breaking news. And the Maddie Soto case that wasn't breaking news that it had absolutely nothing to do with it. Yeah, no kind. The kind Betty didn't know the difference between them and a barbell. <sighs> hey, Halloween baby. Good to see you. Hey, T. Marie. Yeah, them kind of weights. Yeah, because it, I... There wasn't enough to sit on my hands. Mm -hmm. And today in Nonsenses Chat, ooh, I think it's mm, that dude. Well, you know, the white beater t tank top is the first red flag for me. I don't know why these young, these young punks think they look good in them. Dude, please take it off and put it in the wash. But take it off, all right? Um, but, uh... Yeah, he, he needs he needs turned over his mama's knee. That's what he needs. He seriously needs that. <clears throat> I see uh Brittany J's still at it hot and heavy too. Mm. Yeah. Well, what makes me mad, what I don't get with this 111 true crime is why does she have Slimy's world on her panel? Makes no sense to me. Why would you want someone on your panel that says the vile, nasty, disgusting things this piece of shit says? Yeah, she did, Savage. Okay. Not hey, SWTC. Dad. In fear. Okay, I'll back this up just a little bit more. Dad, so think. So that All right, this should be good to start because I don't want to replay what we already played. Sebastian. Did not tell his dad in fear. Oh. Do me a favor. Don't think too much. Or, and, he, he was probably threatened. And Katie? Yeah, what about it? You as his mother, you bitch. Oh. Putting him in debt. You, you understand what it, a itch is, right? It's a female dog. You you get that, right? Shouldn't be talking about stuff like that. You shouldn't know. You shouldn't. There's plenty of people out there talking about you and call you names. You shouldn't be doing that to yourself. Danger. Even more for predators. Mm. Even way back through 2020 or 2021, in Hip Gallatin, knowing the trauma what? That he's been through already. Wait a minute. Now you're saying someone's name that has nothing to do with this? You're doxing someone's name? This is the person that they're saying the parents had around him. That spent nine years in prison for kitty crimes, but there's no proof of this. I've not seen this info. She's spewing this. For a fact with a 13 year old? Uh, correction. Was not a 13 year old. Can you take those glasses off and clean them so you can read? Let alone possibly others. What? What? So now you're putting out in the universe. Oh, my Lord. Mm, okay. Uh, I'm going to calm down here a minute. I'm going to let her continue hanging herself. Look at the draw. Look at the dramatics. Shake your head. One day. One day what? The law will come for you. The law oh. will come for you. Mm -hmm. This is national. Hmm. When you go in jail, nobody likes anybody that hurts okay. kids. First off, who's going to jail? Where's the evidence? Because there's been none. There's no proof of anything. So who's going to jail? 
Are you now law enforcement? Hmm. Gotcha. Just saying. Don't use my sayings. I say that all the time. I've said that all my life. Don't use my sayings. Slimy, you have no permission to use my sayings. None. You're so dramatic. Did you take drama in high school? You're so dramatic. Shake that head. Curl that mouth. Go ahead. Do it, mama. Go ahead. Well, come on. Get on with it. Too long of a dramatic pause. Everything matters. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Everything. No, it doesn't. Oh, you're too dramatic for me. I feel no matter what happened on February 26th, uh -huh. she, Katie, uh -huh. knows what happened. And it's uh -huh. time to come clean uh -huh. Katie, your responsibility is to take care of your child 100%. He is your child. Okay. Yes. You finally get something. It is her child, not yours. Your feelings, your thoughts don't matter. They're irrelevant. All you're doing is throwing out phony accusations. Fake news, misinformation, lies, and rumors, however you want to say it. You were neglectful alone mm. by not checking on him, whether the story or lie, it doesn't matter. Okay, where's the neglect at? Where's there been any proof that there's been neglect? He was a 15-year-old child. He was not a two-year-old. You don't have teenagers? You never had teenagers? You don't just go marching in their room for every little noise you hear. Hell, I don't even have to mine her six and eight. And let me tell you, half time, it sounds like they're coming through the freaking wall. But I know what they're doing. They're jumping on the bed like they're not supposed to be. But anyway. I don't run in there for every little noise because I'd spend my life in that bedroom doorway. Do you understand? I, I, I want to see some evidence, some proof of all these accusations. It doesn't matter. Mm. Different or not. Oh, thank you, you J-Dog. You told renewing. both me and Nancy Grace. Either way, hey, you. you did not get up and go check on him. Okay. He's 15. He's 15. I don't know about you, but I've had teenagers. No, you don't just go marching in their room all the time. You know, it, it, he, he was 15. When you heard a noise, your words. I'm telling you, I, I must be really neglectful, Helen. Hey, Remy, because I don't run in them rooms every time I hear something. Because I know what these kids are doing. Okay. My kids are happy, healthy, and you know, they're doing fine. My son would use his walls for a basketball hoop. Did you think I ran in there every time he did it? No. Not ours. Yours. Mm. You told us both the windows were locked. The front door that he went out so adamant. And the police knows that's the door he went out. Oh. Was locked. Hey, it's me, Tiffany. You locked yourself in the house with him. Your words. Chris's words. Not ours. You've told every news station that, every interview that. Your words. Not ours. I'm sitting on my hands. 
You and Chris. What? Spit it out. Come on. You're thinking of the lie. Come on. Spit it out. There goes their minds up. It's either foul play mm. in that house, in my opinion, mm. or he did not make it home that night mm -hmm. after he was seen walking to the car on that video, Proof of Life, that night that was shown to Seth Rogers okay. by TBI. Okay. So, do you have any evidence of any of this? Because TBI hasn't... In fact, they've said no foul play. They said it more than once. So, do you have any... Oh, that's right. She says that they took him through the house, out through the garage. Hey, Petunia. That's right. Can you please prove to me anything you're stating? And, honey, we all have opinions. You know? But your opinions, you can take them and shove them where the sun don't shine. Because at the end of the day, your opinions don't freaking matter. It don't. Not in this case. You're nothing to this child. You're nothing to his family. But a thorn in their side. They need to pull it. In my opinion. Ooh, shove your opinions. You don't say, or you don't state it as opinion. You state it as fact. And then you'll turn around and say, I guarantee it. You can't guarantee an opinion, you idiot. I know there was a grainy video mm -hmm. said that he took out the trash. Okay. Until that can be cleaned up and proved by TBI. I don't believe that was him. It could have been Katie. Oh. So now you now TBI is lying. Um, and now you think that she oh, she's going to say that she believes that Katie dressed like him in all black to make it appear that it was him when it was really her. The last proof of life video was I don't like how they say at that. the place they come out of eating and he either did not make it home or there was foul play inside the house. Mm. Period. Okay. Law enforcement. Period. That's not an opinion. You're stating that as a fact. Please show your evidence of these facts you're spewing. I'll wait. I don't have long. Let's go. It's not that stupid. Mm. And neither am I. <laughs> oh, you left the door open on that one. Oh, honey. Oh, honey, honey, honey. Oh. <laughs> Have you been down to the Piggly Wiggly lately? You need to take your poster back. Piggly Wiggly needs to refund your $49.95. You need to wake up, people. You need to wake up and you need to talk yourself, Katie, because your husband is going to put that camper in reverse like Melissa told him to put that truck in reverse and run over Nina and her. And um, he's going to put that camper in reverse when your back is turned. And he's going to run all over your ass. Oh, what? What? Oh. Um, okay. 
Let's recap for a minute. I got to regret because I'm going to. Mm, too bad he couldn't back the camper up over there. Anyway, uh, hello, Ryan. Um, fifth wheels don't have reverse. Yeah, psh, don't tell her that, Helen. <laughs> Yeah, don't tell her that. Um, that would that would require her to use a brain cell that she clearly does not have any of. So now you're saying that he's going to hurt her, and you're saying you believe what the ex said. You know, forget that it's an ex who they had a very messy divorce and are going through one hell of a custody battle forget all that forget that she was just assassinating his character and being to totally retaliatory there was not one shred of evidence shown of anything there was no proof of nothing shown of anything that she accused him of but you know what there's some paperwork out there if you actually did your due diligence and read it Hmm, you might want to take a step back. But guess what, sweetheart? What? You have no child with him. You have zero to offer him. Oh, my Lord. Nothing. Oh. Just say goodbye. Exactly is what I've been trying to tell you people. You're acting like this was some big thing that he wanted him out of the way. Well, if he was really going to live with dad, like everybody's claiming, he would have been out of the way. Chris was, and you keep saying it was financial. Chris was, he was, as you point out, but you guys say it vulgarly. You say, step dad, like it's a bad thing. Um, honey, I know better stepdads been the sperm donor that made the children. So, then you're faced with that. All right? He was not financially responsible for Sebastian. And you, you're right. They don't have any children together. So, if he wanted out, he could have just hopped on his little truck and went on about his merry way. You're so stupid. Blow a kiss. See ya. Wouldn't want to be you, ma'am. Oh, my Lord. All right, guys. I'm going to go say goodnight real quick. I'm going to let this play. Sebastian Wayne Drake Rogers. If you know, if you know anything about what happened that day, if you think you know, if you saw him, anything. Please call 1-800-TBI-FIND. Call Sumner County Sheriff's Office. 615-451-3838. Please continue in the meantime to pass out flyers. Share, share, share. Keep his name and face out there. Do everything you can because I hear flyers are being taken down. And I want everybody to go out and nail them back up. Post them. Tape them. Nail gun them. Whatever you do. 
And as far as why they're out there stalking and filming the searchers, the people in the boats and everything else, I don't know. Intimidation. Who's well, intimidating them? Who's out there stalking them? You're believing stuff that JLR is putting out. And this freaking weirdo CJ. The searchers were being threatened by the weirdos. Not by the family, you dipshit. Probably at its finest, but nobody cares. Nobody cares. Let them do what they do. Ignore them. They're not important. They never wanted him. Especially the step. Exactly. Oh, here she goes. Especially, you notice how she said, especially the step. Because these idiots, from the get-go, from the very minute this story broke, immediately went to him. Because he is a step dad. Oh yeah, they moved on. They got a new cash cow. They'll go back to summer though, Jay. They keep throwing summer in here. Hey, Kim. Yeah, she thinks she's famous. Val. Hey, Val. People. They're not worthy. They're not. They're not worthy. <laughs> they're going to lose in the other case. And they're not worthy in this case. This boy, Sebastian. Put that down. Put that down. Put that down. You don't have a right to show that after the stuff you sit here and spew out of that trap of yours. He will be found. He I will hope be he found. I hope and pray he is. I'm trying to see my computer is. To see, unlike you, I'm not ready to hang the parents out to dry. I'm not ready to lock them up in a jail cell because there's no evidence that they did anything. I'm trying to see. I just saw 499. I'm sorry. Thank you, Shell. Thank you so much, honey. Uh, we are Sebastian Strong. Thank uh, you. No, you're not. Hey, Darby. And he will be found. But I, I really appreciate y'all being here and all of your support. And I love you all so much. And I hope you all have a good night. And remember, if you see something, say something. Oh, my God. She uses see Betty. Say something. Say something. I love you. Oh, my Lord. She uses Betty's words. Oh, she gets worse. It gets worse with her. It gets totally worse. That was the chill part of that live. We heard the rest of it. But there's more. She does one that says, say what you mean and mean what you say. And honestly, if I was a 15-year-old kid and I ran away from home and I seen all this stuff going on, I'd be afraid to come home. I'd be afraid to come home. I'm not trying to, I, I am not trying to go after the parents here. They have a, you know, I, I'm really not. I, it, it, it's really hard. Um, But something just tells me, by the way it's going, that the parents, it was hard for him, I'm sure. Yeah, it. This is just a taste of... Mm. Oh, we're going to get into BHB. Oh, yeah. Oh, she has. Why am I not surprised? They are a lot alike. There is no honor amongst tragedy fans. Nope. See, I call her a, vault, a tragedy vulture. Betty is a tragedy pimp slash tragedy vulture. But she's also a crime tourist because she'll go out there 
to record herself acting like she's doing something to help just so she can get content, but she's not really doing anything. The same as Dolly and JLR, you know. Yeah. <clears throat> We're just going to skim through this one because I want to... Dana from StreamYard, uh, no offense, honey, but I'm tired of your commercial, uh, your ad. Um, I want to get into the 111 True Crime panel. Uh, there's only a little bit of that I'm going to show. And then I got to show you some Betty. And it's just a little bit of that I want to show. You know, I enjoy doing Betty. I love calling out the bullhorn. She just makes me laugh. When I don't want to choke her. But I'll leave the choking up to her since she's a pro at it. You think back and uh, I can't with these intros. They've made their intros. Oh, I can't. Understanding I could be wrong, but it's not Layla and it's not uh, Holly. Girls. No, not my. Hello, Erica. Hello. Hello, Blue Eyes and everyone. Hello, everybody. Welcome, Victoria. Everybody, everybody. Hello. I don't think anything's working tonight. Start the super chat deal. Thank you for the Your super, super chats chat are working. Peter is acting. Feel, feel there we go. I can't put it there. I'm having a lot of time. I don't know You're how. Good. You can't come out tonight, baby, because the patio's all tore up. No. Nope. Lord, how mercy. I told y'all I'm not technical. My Just cat is having a fit that he can't be out on the patio. But my husband is painting. So, hey, Norton girl. She can't. He can't. And he's not a happy camper. Um, YouTube. But I'm going to try here in a bit, honey. At least I said, thank God for StreamYard. And then I got on here and I will be darn if right when I did, I told my mom, I said, well, thank God, I at least can get on there and I'll deal with YouTube later. And I got on here and Lord, it asked me, look, I'm getting all, all like, look, I did all that. There's some hope all is well in the YouTube land. Him, what I play today, maybe we want to hear it. <laughs> jinx me, buddy. You jinx me. Hey, funny fact, that's not, that's why I have to address it, okay? Oh. <laughs> it's kind of funny now. Oh. It's kind of funny. That's why I had to let it die down and not come live till now. So, somebody, I don't even know who it was, it was just a troll. They said, I'll blame you because you said I was going live. Lord have mercy. And she said, where am I? Y'all think Smiley is Wonder Woman or something. I don't know. <laughs> oh, no, we don't. It's okay. It's all good in Smiley's hood, honey. But, yeah. um, so, okay. So, it was about my live last night. I thought it was a pretty darn good live. Mm. What do y'all think? Give me a one if you thought that was a pretty good live. No, we just yeah. reviewed it, and I'm not giving you a one. Okay. Y'all don't have to answer that. But anyway... This person or this troll say said said and they said it backwards too. They said if you real something about if you really believe if you really believe what you said to Katie Proudfoot last night something about then um no something about do you really feel what you do you really believe what you said about or to katie proud well, i'll show you what she night? said because oh just wait a minute wait a minute okay Oh, just wait. I'm going to show you what she said last night. She did another two-minute thing for Katie. I showed you the first one a couple days ago. Oh, or did she take it down? I think it was a video. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah. She did another one. 
I will be more than happy to show it to you. I'll show you. I showed you the other one, how disgusting it was. She threatened her and everything else. Yeah. Well, here's this one. Since she brought it up, I'll show it. And this is addressed to Katie Frockwood again. Katie, if you don't want those little puppies, I'll come get both of those. If you give them to me, I'll come up there and get both of those. Oh, now she wants her dogs. Betty wants the camper. She wants you the dogs. You don't even have to. Um, you don't even have to see me, talk to me, look at me. Speak you. Up. I will send somebody to meet whoever at your house or wherever to pick them up. Okay, why would she give and then you I her will dogs? Go to where I know people and get them. And they will have the best loving fucking home ever for a lifetime. Mm. That's my offer to you. I will take them puppies off of your hand, off of both of y'all's hands forever and ever and ever. And I beg you, please do not hurt those little puppies. Do huh? not leave them in a cage. That They will never be caged here. I don't, there's nothing wrong with, you know, caging them. I've, I've just never caged none of mine, but just get in touch with me. Evidently, Chris knows how to get in touch with me. I beg you. I, you know, I just thought of that off the top of my head. I don't know where the puppies are, but then you'll really have your freedom. I will take those. Now, why are you going after their dogs? You really are friends with Betty because Betty wants their camper. She claims she's taking their camper and putting her wrap on it. And you want their dogs? Where are they? What? Puppies. I will take them mm. forever and ever and ever. And I promise you they'll have the best life ever. Okay. Quit saying it. Move That's on. my offer to you. How about that? How about that? Why would she give you her dogs? I might even zip my mouth a little bit. How about yeah. that? That's not going to happen. And one thing you can say about me, I am a animal lover, especially a dog lover. Oh. And? So what? Mm. Mm -mm. Mm. In the meantime, listen, y'all. In the meantime. Okay. That's her latest thing. Hey, Angela. Angelina. That is her latest thing to Katie. Uh-huh. A lot better than the threat from the one the night before. But let's get back to this because I'm going to get through it. Yeah, that was a waste of two minutes. I can't get back. Oh, damn, these ads. Okay, now pick it up here, girly. Yeah, this isn't helping, Sebastian. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Oh, I didn't share the screen, did I? Sorry, guys. Oh, my Lord. Okay, she don't pick this up. I'm going to speed her up really fast here. I'll never get through her at this rate. She's very dramatic with her faces and stuff. I'll tell y'all something. Oh, don't tell us. Those in the back that might not know me. What A.B. say? Is he in here? Okay. Has he got the jokes? Oh, there he is. Hey, A.B. 
imitation of Jim Ross. Oh, <laughs> so here's what I want to say. I want to say this. Say what you mean and mean what you say. Period. Hmm. With a T. And don't ask me, do I really believe what I said about Katie Proudfoot or Chris Proudfoot to be true? That's what they said, because they said, if I did, they felt sorry for Sebastian. What? What? That don't even make no damn sense, y'all. Yeah, it does. In my opinion. Yeah, it does. I'm frozen. Am I frozen now? Mm-hmm. Am I frozen? Yes. Am I frozen now? Oh, oh Lord. <laughs> Holy shit. Boy, that's fitting. That's fitting. That was perfect ad to run with her. Where'd she go? What'd she do? She leave? <laughs> oh, my. Am I frozen now? Oh, Lord. It's time for a new computer, I guess. I got gone. You got gone, all Am right. I frozen now? <laughs> okay. Well, oh, here she goes out. with her notes on her for phone. Again, for real. For reals. <laughs> don't, don't ask me something if you don't want to know, okay? Because they asked me. <laughs> Thank you, pretty busy shit. All right. <laughs> They're coming for me. Mm, they should straight okay. jacket and all. So they said, um, they said, if I really believe that, that they feel sorry for Sebastian. I don't know what the hell they're talking about. Okay. They should feel sorry for Katie. Katie pants. Okay. Anyway, that don't even make no sense to me, first off. And yes, not only do I believe it, I mean it. If it come out of my mouth and I said it, then I meant it. So mm. there, there, there. There. How do they do that? You know, uh, normally I would give people kudos for standing on what they say, but you're a piece of shit. And you said a lot of horrible things. And you've made a lot of baseless accusations. So, no. Furthermore, furthermore, this is the public service announcement. We can all agree to disagree. We're grown. Oh, no. You block people when they're in your chat and they disagree with you. I'm grown. I don't know about y'all, but we're grown, okay? You are? And one thing I've noticed about YouTube. Okay. I and understand. Forward. I mean, I understand that. Um, now, not for everything, but I did. If you're wrong, you're wrong. What was your wrong? But if you're right, you're right. Mm. If you're right, you're right. You're not Just right. Like when Chris came on my panel and said, "Somebody said," uh, that was me. I said that, sir, Mr. Chris. I said that. If I said it, I said it, man. You know what you call people like that? Assholes. You know what you call people like that? Mm -hmm. Assholes. You call people like that fake. No, you're an asshole. Fake. That's that's not me. That's not no, in my you're blood. an asshole. That's just not me. Mm. Okay, fast forward. Don't Good care. to see everybody. You're a piece Good of to shit. see everybody. No news. He's still missing. Everybody is looking for him. Fifteen years old. Male, white, brown eyes, brown hair, 5'5", five, five, 120 pounds, mm -hmm. missing from Sumner County, Hendersonville, Tennessee, right under his mother's nose. Mm. Yep. Did he run off? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Janice. People are giving Janet, her money I'm right sorry. and left. Unfreaking believable. Right under his mother's nose. Yep, sure did. She said. They're not naming suspects. Nope. Right now. Nope. They've actually said 
There's no foul play, especially with the parents. And the parents have been very cooperative from the get-go. Very cooperative. No foul play uh, yet. Mm-hmm. So they say. Mm-hmm. Of course, in my opinion. Oh, here we go. A blind man can see something is wrong with this whole picture. Mm-hmm. And you don't have to be an artist to draw it. Hmm. Well, Tammy, they vanish. But again, E.T. didn't just come get him. I keep, keep telling y'all. And you're not going to just find him in the closet where the little girl out of the movie put him in the closet and is feeding him cookies, hiding him between a bunch of bears. And they're not going to say, Sebastian, call home. Oh, my God. Sebastian, call home. Are you kidding me? Thank you, Summer's Army. Justice is coming. Justice is coming. These people call themselves Sebastian's army? What? She doesn't have any active brain cells. Leave it to Beaver. That is my complete, total conclusion. Hey, Revival. Improper use of air quotes. Yes. And hey, Runs with Scissors. And when you run away... You don't announce it to the world. You know, I mean, I don't know. Attention seekers is what I call that. Yep. What in the actual F is wrong with this woman? I'm like seven minutes behind, but wow, you want to take this woman's pets? She definitely diagnosed with audacity. Yep. Well, Betty wants... Hey, Ange, good to see you. Betty wants the camper. She says she's going to get it. This one wants the dogs. Hey, Clemson girl, how are you? Too many- and these people, they've got these people convicted and already being sentenced and locked behind bars when there's been no crime. People, Summer didn't even get this. Too many people's looking. And his daddy, I believe if his daddy can, he'll find him all alone, all oh, by himself. Oh, don't go there with me because I'm trying so hard. You have no idea how hard it is. <clears throat> because I know this man has a missing child. However. Hmm. Oh, I'm going to say this as nice as I can, but it is what it is. And if you get mad at me, I'm sorry, but we're all are allowed our own thoughts. He wasn't perfect. There is no such thing. He has skeletons too. I think. And this is just my feelings. That he's liking all this attention. He's at a very, very horrific time in his life. And I think that's how he fell into this with you people. However, he's been out here long enough to know how things get twisted up. And... He has co-signed all of the nasty, vile things you have been saying. All of you. I've seen him in chats, on panels, while it's being said. All the while, you're pushing the Cash App and the GoFundMe. And making sure you buy your t-shirts from him. But because somebody wanted to do a GoFundMe to get billboards put up. They were attacked for it. They didn't want the money to pay their living expenses. 
they wanted to put billboards up. And the shoulder injury has nothing to do with Sebastian. So quit playing that up too. You need to get this family together. To work together. To stand as one. Not drive this wedge between them. So that more crap gets spewed. So you people can have endless content. So it's not about Sebastian for any of you. It's not. I don't believe any of you give two shits about this little boy. You're greedy. You care about your views and clicks. Your cash apps, your PayPal's, your memberships. That's what you care about. And I don't care what y'all say about that man. Mm -hmm. That's the father everybody should have. Oh, okay. You know how you say you turned over every rock? You looked underneath real good? You didn't. Yup. Yeah. Every one of you immediately went for the stepdad and the mom. Didn't even wait for anything. Automatically. Hmm. In my opinion. In my opinion. But that's just me. Well, your opinion sucks. And of course, he's going to get some bashing too. I hope he's ready for it. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. Never lose hope. Exactly. Um, Katie says she went to look for Sebastian about... Yeah, it's, I'm, that's what I mean, Kim. I'm not trying to be shady with him, but it is what it is. They... Come on, Pascal. I, could, I can't. I, I've never been more disappointed in a creator, I don't think. But anyway, um, they pushed the cash app. Not even his, by the way. Um, and they go fund me really hard. But somebody wanted to put up billboards and raise funds to pay for them. Because they're not cheap. And, oh, end of the world there. No. We all are dumb. No, I'm not dumb. Are you talking about me being going to college, honey? I've been to college. A couple times. Hey, Duchess. Thanks for coming in. Hey, Spivey. I'm not the one out here spreading accusations and misinformation when they have no clue. They act, This woman acts like she knows these people. Like she lived in their home with them. She actually acts like she knows them. Now she wants their damn dogs. Three minutes. Uh, she looked around the house because she went to wake him up. Uh, and he wasn't there. Mm -hmm. She didn't have no problem waking him up in the morning time. Okay. No, that always got me. She told me. Well, she wants to talk about what the dad said and brought out because he was being blackmailed and he was just simply tired of being blackmailed, which I don't blame him. Who was being blackmailed? Now, who's spreading these rumors? Are you kidding me? Being blackmailed. Oh, my God. Um, and yeah, you know, moms even get their teenagers up for school in the morning. Nothing unusual about that. You know, after all, she come out and said some pretty bad things. And uh, you know, she come out and said some pretty bad things. Where? When? She should have never had to make the post that she did. Because I'm sorry. Seth had no, Seth had no right. I don't care if he's the father or not. He had no right to say the things he said about his son. 
It wasn't his story to tell. Embarrassing um, things and for the world to know. Hey, Smiles. No, she's not. That's that's her 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 backdrop, her, her poster. She went to the Piggly Wiggly and she paid $49.95 for that. The other, they just like stuff like that to be swept under the rug for nobody not to know, in my opinion. Mm. Hey, what do I know? You don't. Hey, thank you. What you do don't. She said, um, she told me on the interview, why would she go to the door and open the door and look at anything? Because she implied, if y'all can't figure out what she implied, Okay, going into a little implied? boy's room that they might be doing. He's not a little boy. He is 15 years old. In, in their room. And you don't know what she, you're not in her head. I watched your interview. She didn't imply shit. Probably stuff. How can you not see that that woman is devastated? Her son is missing. Not your son, her son. In every interview I've seen her give, you can see that woman is totally devastated. Little boys do in a shower anyway. Oh my God. Can you tell me? He's not a little boy. He's 15. He's 15. Did you not raise teenagers? Especially teenage boys. He's old enough to take a shower by himself. A lot of teenage boys won't take a shower at night. Come on. Now, this is just ridiculous. I'm sorry. This is ridiculous. Why? She would barge in there just to wake him up in the morning times. Um, Because he had to get up for school. The same reason I go, you don't barge. Y'all walk into the room and you wake them up for school. Nothing wrong with that. Not, no red flags there. That's normal. You didn't wake your kids up for school? Because I had to go get my son up and because he had to get up at 4 o'clock in the morning because he had hockey practice before school. He would fall asleep in the bathtub. Your point being? Not having an alarm clock? Uh, most teenagers wouldn't even hear the alarm clock. Oh. She didn't have a problem going in there then to wake him up, did she? Oh, my God. Well, if anybody's had any little boys, I hate to be blunt. I had four. Oh. Um. Wow. Do y'all not know what happens in the morning time in their sleep? I'm sorry. What? What is wrong with you? Now, I know y'all are coming in here tired of this being a little bit X-rated, but Jesus, you know, these folks are damn, they go that way. No, she's have to bring this up. not. And everything is important when it comes to a missing person. Every oh, no, she's not going to go there. Uh, oh, my Lord. You never woke up your boys for school? Did they hear the alarm clock? My son never did, and it was loud as hell. My son slept like a rock. Yeah, no. I, I'm not even going to go where you're going, because that's just fucking disgusting. Lady, the more I review you, the more you need to be inside that trash can out there. Just saying. And that's my saying. And I've been saying it for years. You're not allowed to use it. Everything, in my opinion, is important. Some people say, well, why is this important? Well, I don't it's understand. It's not important. And why he posted his Instagram. I don't understand this. You don't need to understand why I do what I do. First of all, it's my channel. I can do what I want to do. Ooh. It's not for you to understand. It may or it may not be important, but to the law, but it's not 
important. It's important. Say it right. What is important is the backstory to everybody Mm -mm. that was involved prior to this child right here. And in light of everything that's coming out now, anybody and everybody, and that includes online, that these two people have had in their lives, have in their lives that could come after them for any reason, be associated with, or any access he may have could have got to, for God's sakes, he built a freaking ATM. Just because they have autism don't mean they don't have any sense. Not at all. Thanks for coming in, Wendy. Oh. Sometimes they're the most brilliant person in the room. Yeah, she is a monster, Wendy. That's a fact. Mm. Let's talk about something. No, no, Duke, you can't wrap up in the cords. Let's talk about no, you're gonna pull my cords on. blaming a child, a parent who does that. Or step parent, or an adult. Okay. Let's talk about stuff like that tonight. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Damn, my chat's going so slow, and I apologize. Yeah, and you, you, you're... But let's talk about those things. It'll catch up. Y'all just really, what you need to do is go out and come back in, because everything's mixed up, including your head. With me, honey. Oh, I'm with you, all right. <laughs> you may have heard it, heard it. We're going to go Casey, there. I heard it may have been the woodchucks and catfish got him. Hmm. You never know. Could have been one of them UFOs after all. Mm-hmm. Um, but I feel it's important to talk about this for a minute. Uh-oh. How about um, regularly blaming the child? And as we saw, that's very obvious between both of those, Chris and Katie, in my opinion. My opinion. Right. I'm entitled to my opinion. So let's just go there for a minute. Um. It does nothing more than cause Duke, emotional leave my cords distress. Alone. Sir Duke. Low self-esteem in Katie that child. Yeah. I'm going to put you back and in I'm the talking house. about any child, not just Sebastian. But it makes the adult on, feel important. More and um, they have to put the child, the smaller person, um, you know, down all the time because it makes them feel bigger. It's called toxic parenting do y'all know anybody like that what the hell is she talking about now they're toxic parenting i haven't seen any of that hey voices i haven't seen any of that Exactly. You know what? My son, when he was, you know, teenage boys go through about where, you know, they're kind of allergic to water. You know, at least back when my son was, and he played sports, so he had to shower every day anyway. You know, he showered every day at, the, at, at either the arena, the ice arena, or at the school. Um, but still, you know, um, and believe it, there were some of the players that didn't shower. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I, she's making, yeah, she's very disturbing. What is, she has no evidence. None. She won't show any either. She doesn't even know them. Judge much smiley. Remember when BK was judging your family? Okay, I digress. Oh, snap. My sons are grown now, but at 5.30 a.m., they would stand in the shower for 45 minutes. Yep. My son would get in a purposely get in the bathtub so he could lay down so he could go to sleep for another half hour. It's, yeah, catfish. Yeah. I think we all do now if we never did before. Well, you want back in Duke? personally you don't or in like person, the patio being a mess, do you? But we got a pretty good taste of it. And I think it's an ongoing lesson that we continue to get you want me every night now for, you? for the last couple of weeks. 
or mommy put a blankie over down and over you. again. And every time we hear it, we hear something new. Even I do. Here you go, baby. And that's a fact. Here's her dookie. No parent is perfect. You're right. And um, when a child is uh, born, you and especially Here's if it's your first one, it does not Here come with could. a manual. That's a fact. And nobody does it right. Um. And I don't, I'm not the type, I don't believe in if a child does wrong, like you do the very best you, you can. Like, again, I have four, mine are not perfect. I don't believe though that you can blame a parent on, the, uh, you know, on the other hand, I don't believe that a parent is responsible for every single thing, especially once they get grown that a child does. Now that might be wrong, but you can only steer them and teach them to do right. But that don't make them, um, that don't, that don't make, I mean, again, you can have three and one can go this way and the others can be, you know, very good. But, uh, you know, I don't know what to say about that. So I'm not trying to pound on pavement that yes, you are. it's just the parents. I just want to speak on what we all heard the other night. And they're what did you hear the other night? Did you... What did you hear the other night? Or are you talking about the Pascal interview? Okay, that was a weekend parent. That wasn't the parent that was there morning, noon, and night every day of the week. Big difference. Not throwing shade, but that's a fact. <clears throat> Parents that are doing toxic parenting. Toxic and not parenting. everybody needs to even be a parent. And again, I'm not Ooh. speaking straight on these two right here. We've seen it in a lot of cases. Okay, well, if you're not speaking on these two right here, then why are you even discussing it when this live is about these two right here? And let me tell you something. You don't have a clue what a toxic parent is. Be a foster mom for a while. Deal with Trust me, your whole thing would change. You, it would change. I know. I've done it for years. I could show you some bad parents. And I can show you some good ones. This is here. I just put out a video on my community post today. And I come across it. It was a runaway teen. And oh my God, it is. if you haven't watched it, I don't know if you can stand it. It's probably the most horrible thing that I have seen on YouTube yet. Mm. It's heart wrenching and it's heartbreaking to watch. And if you're, if you can't just please just pass it up. Don't it's very, it's, it's bad. It's bad. And this kid, it's bad. What is that? Just don't. But, but I mean, I, I'm saying don't, but I put it up there. I put red flags and warnings because. Okay. It's so horrific. She's telling you not to watch it, but yet she posted it. Okay. I, uh, yeah, I'm a helicopter mom. I'll be the first to admit it. I'm a helicopter mom. I feel like people need to see that. You know, no, we don't. Bad. I, I really don't. Okay. That has nothing really to do don't. with what you're talking about. And he run away. I, I, I just don't. So, listen. Not everybody needs to be a parent, nor do they have the ability to be a parent. Some it just comes natural. It okay. came natural to me. I was a young, of course young parent. It just came natural to me. Mm, you maybe, never. Maybe that's why I can't understand. You never made no mistakes. Okay, I don't believe that. But again, get on with your toxic parenting because I want to know what you're saying is toxic. Because honey, I can show you some toxic parenting that would blow your mind. And a lot of this stuff. But that's just me, you know? Ooh. It's just me. And I, I loved every minute of it. I love every minute of it. Mm -hmm. You know, if that makes me a little bit judgy, oh, well, I say, oh, oh well. honey, you're not a little bit judgy. Oh, well, oh, don't worry. 
you're not even a little bit judgy. You are 1000% judgy. And you don't even know these people. You talk to them for a few minutes. You think that because you got an interview, which I'm sure they, they so regret, that you know them. You don't. You don't know them. You don't know anything about their life. You don't know what went on in their home. Oh. Am I perfect? No. Mm. Sure ain't. No. But, oh well. There are red flags. Luke, leave the cords alone. Many parents will justify oh, using that. blame. The blame game as Luke, the parent I love you, but you cannot bite my cords. Uh, for their discipline. We heard that the You're other night. You're biting my cords any damn way. Oh my We Lord. heard that the other night. My way or no way. See, he already, Chris already. Smiley, can you help me with this slimy? Can you help me with my cat's behavior? Since you're this expert on toxic parenting, how about toxic kids? Because this cat is beyond freaking spoiled. And he thinks that I am his personal climbing post, bite toy, scratch post, whatever he deems necessary. And he keeps wrapping up in my cords and he's going to shut my life down again. I just know it. So look, can you can you give me some pointers? Since you've got all these pointers, just say. He said, um, "I'm a pretty black and white guy." He said that in one of the other interviews. I forgot which one, but he said, "I'm just black and white." So? We already talked about that. He said, "I'm black and white." So we done figured out it's his way or the highway. His way or the highway. You know, that, Mr. Chris. What? what? he meant by that statement saying that I'm pretty black and white. It's okay. I, I don't have time to take you to school tonight, but boy, one day I would like to do a string yard with you and take you to school. It's his way or the highway. Mm -hmm. That's probably why he got on the highway with the four other wives real quick. Oh, quick, fast Lord. in a hurry, right? Quick, fast in a hurry. He said the punishment must be fit the crime uh-huh the punishment must fit the crime well he's not a cop he's not a judge last i looked he's not in law enforcement it was words it it, it was a figure of speech you idiot Maybe he was strict. Everybody parents differently. That doesn't mean there was abuse and neglect. He might think yeah. he's mafia style with his family. You know, she has a problem because the mother barged into the bedroom to get him up in the morning barged into the bedroom in her own house to get him up in the morning for school. That's a toxic parent. <clears throat> According to her, they are toxic parents. Hey, Mickey. Sebastian is a child. He's also disabled. Right. He is a freaking bully. Hmm. And Sebastian's not old enough to be in the military. And oh, Chris is not, not his um, father. You're wrong there. Because there's military academies that he could go to. Yeah. Just so you can know. You know, it's it's school. But it's a military academy school. Just, just letting you know that. And um, Sebastian was not in trouble with the law. Mm. And so, what does he mean? I don't understand what he means. Oh, my God. It was a figure of speech. It means, you dipshit. I guess I'll have to be the one to tell you. You're not going to ground him as much for certain, like, how could I say this without being, Okay. When your child doesn't do what you ask them to do, and they pretty much just do what they want to do, you know, 
or but then you know then your child will turn around there's different oh I can I want to say this without there's different ways to make them accountable to hold them accountable for their actions of course the more serious the behavior the more serious I guess you would say punishment I not you know I mean are you going to take the iPad for one day or one week are you going to ground them to their room for for that day or you know it, or take the TV away it depends you you oh I don't want to say this the wrong way because I don't want people to think uh It depends on what the child did on what how you respond. And yes, some behaviors do require a little stricter consequence. Some deci- bad decisions do require a little stricter outcome. They does. I mean, if your kid didn't get off the iPad when you told him to you're just going to take the iPad but if your kid snuck out or snuck on to sites they weren't to you know or with the iPad stuck snuck on to sites on the iPad they weren't supposed to be there's going to be a little bit more of a consequence you see what i mean it depend it does depend and it was a figure of speech he was using do you not get that did you not have different levels of consequences for your kids or was it just hardcore for every day cuz you can't do that for every little thing you know fit the crime the punishment must fit the crime pretty hardcore there mr chris but then again what do you expect we done heard it's like what pop everybody and their little sister and brother in the mouth and you know oh hey 50 shades i see you in savage's chat all the time. Thanks for coming over. I appreciate that. Yeah, West Point, Mickey. Yeah. There's several military schools, so yeah. She's wrong about that. Do I know what? About Dylan Rounds. Yeah. Yeah. It's sad. You know, up until, you know, having, uh, oh, this is getting, this, this whole thing just hits home for me and has brought up some feelings I thought I had dealt with, but apparently I haven't <laughs> about my nephew. Um, when he went missing, every every month that went by it was harder and harder to hold on hope to hold on to hope that he would just come home or someone would see one of his flyers and call and let us know that you know it gets it gets really really hard and i just was hoping i always hope for the best outcome when someone is missing <clears throat> hmm. and then it gets to the point where you just know that it's been too long and you don't want to answer that phone call. You don't want to answer that knock on the door. <sighs> but we we had to. What could you expect? No less. 
you know, but the punishment is throw things away. I guarantee you again, I'm going to say it again. I guarantee you the things he did throw away was nothing they bought with their money or any of their family's money. I promise you that. Uh, wait, <laughs> wait, wait. You can promise that? Oh, okay. Okay. You have facts about this? You know what I hope, Slimy? I hope you never, ever have to experience anything like this. Because the day that my sister-in-law got that phone call, that they found him, what was left of him, is a day I'll never forget. So I pray that none of you ever have to go through anything like this. Happen. Didn't happen. Didn't happen. I can almost guarantee it. I, I would almost guarantee it. I don't bet that much, but I would almost bet almost, almost anything. <clears throat> Hey, true seeker. I think a lot of it he did out of spite. Thank you. Uh, Sebastian was going to his dad every other weekend or whatever. And when he come home with something new, Chris would get fired up and take that and chuck it. He would use that against him. That's no, my opinion. No. You never went, took a trash bag and went into your teenager's room? Because I did. <laughs> I did. And you're damn right my money paid for everything in that room. I was his parent. That's how it works. That's not toxic parenting. Yeah. My opinion. Take Again, your opinion. I'm allowed to have it. it. Do I know for a fact? No, I don't. But that's my opinion. I know people like him. I know people like him. Oh, remember we found out yesterday she knows people and she's got them on speed dial. Oh, thank you, Smee Umberly. I kept them way at arm's length. But I know people like him. Yeah. <clears throat> and I know people like I'm sorry, you. I'm trying to read Pieces my of shit. to keep up, but they're it's not working. I don't know what is up with this. It happened last night. So I don't know. I cleaned out my cookies and I think that's how I got locked out too. I really don't know. Honey, I don't know. Um, hello and welcome to everybody coming in. I really appreciate you all. I firmly believe he was recently locked in his room or locked outside in that garage. Where the hell would he run away to anyway? Yeah, and you would have to think if he run away, he would definitely, um, I would think, you know, would come back or go somewhere he knows, but it bothers me. It so bothers me that he wasn't caught on that camera. And um, even Chris said himself, there was a camera pointing to the front door. You know, they need to put Luna in the bathroom, in the bedroom, in the Proudfoots. I agree. And look, she said, Katie said when she got up that morning to go wake him up and he wasn't there, she thought, oh, he just probably went to get something to eat in the kitchen. Y'all do realize the kitchen she had to walk through or by to go get Sebastian up, right? So she would have saw him unless he was invisible then getting a bowl of cereal or a Pop-Tart. I mean, come on now. This is the most made up insane stuff I have ever seen or heard of in my life. But could it have been that maybe she was sleeping? I mean... I know you people don't want them to eat. You don't want them to sleep. You don't want them to breathe. But could it have been that it wasn't unusual? That her, I mean, I'm not going to get up every time my 15-year-old goes to the kitchen to get a snack. Sorry, just not. I have to now because they're only six and eight. But you just wait. <laughs> I think this story beats the one I heard up on the hill. I, I, I oh, really do. no. That's just me. 
I, I just really think this beats all. <laughs> um, thank you for becoming a member. Oh my gosh, I gotta get it to go up. <laughs> oh, did I think I just put it back down? Up, down, seesaw. <laughs> thank you for becoming a member. Oh my god, we appreciate you so much. Thank you for joining. Thank you for joining. I love y'all so much. I love you and I appreciate your support. Whistle while you lurk. Oh. <laughs> uh, and show show the family. I always like to show the family where you're from. I mean the state. You don't have to put exactly where you're from. And um, I'm seeing more, more and more people put the green lights um, out on the porch and um, the green bows and everything like that. I just think it's neat to see those things. And they're putting pictures up and stuff. I just think that's really neat. I think it's really neat. But what the blame does when you blame a child also, whether they're disabled or not, but especially if they are disabled. Who is blaming the child? What interviews are you seeing? Because I haven't seen Katie and Chris do any other interviews. I haven't. Thankfully, somebody's giving them some good advice to stay the hell away from you YouTubers. Sadly, the dad's not getting that same advice. They're just not taking it one or the other. Um, so where are you getting all of this information? The Reddit pages, Facebook groups, Twitter, or the other tragedy vultures? Is the blame, blaming the child from an adult, it does not educate them. What it does, it only conditions them. And you know what it does? I'll tell you. It leaves them. Why does everyone think that everything Seth says is the truth? He has not shown any proof. I don't think he's involved, but he's exploiting his son's disappearance to make money for himself. Hmm? My 15-year-old lives in the kitchen. He had surgery and said, Mom, stop coming to check on me because I need rest. <laughs> My 18-year-old makes the best twice-baked potatoes. Mm, that sounds good. Hey, Cheesy. Yeah, um, I didn't jump up every time my teenager was in the kitchen. I'd never sleep if I did. Kid ate nonstop. I'm fearful. It makes them fearful, very scared. They, they lose their trust on who they look up to. They don't know who to trust. Um, it makes them weaker. They're more vulnerable to people. They're more vulnerable. And they don't want to speak out. They don't. They keep things here. They don't want to tell anybody. And that's not good. That's not good. Because they hold things in. And it may be something that they really need to tell. Just like the teacher situation and CPS thing. And then Chris was like, oh, 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 they don't believe you. The adult don't believe you. They believe me. And they mock. Get in there and eat your supper. Oh, oh. He thought he was going to tell on me. What? What? That's not how that, that's not how that went. You have twisted and mangled that all to hell and back, haven't you? It's hard to believe that you raised... I'm sorry, I, I don't go... I never talk about people's kids and stuff. But it's just hard to believe that this woman... Where's the money being spent? I've been transparent that my money is going... To, you're doing billboard touches? Oh, that's fantastic. I will share... If you have um, links, I would be more than happy to share them out all over the place. Um, the money that's being raised, as far as I'm aware of, is for Seth's living expenses because he's not working right now. That's my understanding. And then I find out the cash app's not even his, it's somebody else's because he don't even have one. It takes two minutes to open up a cash app. But anyway. Uh, when you worry about, I mean, you know, I always tell, like, I've told my husband before, who's the adult and who's the child? Let's just say the last total I got 
were probably, and it's days, days old, would probably blow your minds. Would probably blow your minds. It's a lot. I mean, a lot. You know, because he's a little bit more lenient. But look. I mean, seriously. You don't let children run over you, okay? You don't do that. But they, you know, they Ooh, know. I don't want to say this, but I have to. Oh, I want to put this as nicely as I can. His shoulder injury has nothing to do with searching for Sebastian. Uh, let's just say he's not incomeless. How's that? Like people are, are, I'm not saying he's alluding to that. I'm like everybody else is that's pushing the cash app and the GoFundMe. Um, yeah, that's about as nice as I can put it. But you don't like, ha ha ha, y'all make fun of them and say, ha ha ha, ha. they don't believe you. The teacher's not going to believe you. The CPS. How old are you? Are okay, you Duchess, I will share that out and I will get me a t shirt because I know you're using the money for good. I'm sorry, but I'm not buying from. Sorry. Because <laughs> there's so much more I want to say, but I can't. But, um,. Yeah, I will gladly support that and I will share it out on Twitter, Facebook, everywhere. Are you five years old? Get a grip, man. Get a grip. I think billboards are a great idea. I really don't understand. Got it said, in my opinion, coming from experience working at ADT, the, uh, you case the house and cameras, you know the blind sites and where you, you can and cannot go and be detected. Absolutely. That is true. That is true. That is true. Um, he should have joined the Marines and been a drill instructor. Possibly then he would have power trip craves every day, in my opinion. I think he was. I don't know what part he was. I don't know if he was Marines or not, but I know he was in the military too i believe and somebody can correct me if i'm wrong i think they both were and um but from my understanding um i think he's he was behind the desk but what he he needed a little bit more than that um i could be wrong on his job duties or job titles um so there's that um but it leaves children fearful and weak and you totally destroy them um you totally destroy every I mean, self esteem and, and everything and about them in the chat if you blame them, and, and it does not benefit them at all, at all. And when you don't believe your child, of all people, they look up to you I'll do, and they I love you. Right they here, trust I'll you. Please don't ever do that to a child that looks up to you. I don't care if you're a teacher, a parent, or whatever. Listen to them. It destroys their self worth. Please, please. At the very least, listen and decide later, you know, but don't, don't ever let them think that what they say does not matter or you do not believe them. At least investigate, at least, especially if you're the mother, mm. especially if you're the mother. Wow. I don't, I don't know what's wrong with these people. Yeah, and, I don't and, know what's know, wrong with speaking you. Speaking like AD coming here just a minute ago, I know he takes care of his daughter and you know, I don't know the situation there. I don't need to know, but I will tell you this. Men too, men that are single parents, I respect that so much. I donated to the reward fund. I didn't want to personally support Zest, so I donated to the reward fund, but I was told per the request of the parent, the fund has been closed. Seth, we need answer. He wants the money from what I understand, and I could be, you know, totally mistaken here. But from my understanding, he wants the reward funds. I guess he wants to handle it. Thank you, Mods. You're awesome. 
much for men that are single parents. <clears throat> that takes a lot. I'm not just harping on women. I can tell you what, again, women, look, I'm a woman and I can tell you what I've seen because I've got boys. I, okay. Look, women, look, he had, <sighs> Sebastian lived primarily with Katie. It wasn't like he was parenting by himself. There was two parents very much involved. Can be trifling as hell. And I'm not kidding you. I don't care what nobody says. I swear people on YouTube don't understand what a damn single parent is. So men, kudos to you if you got your children... And you're taking good care of them. Hold on. It's trying to come, Cassie. Oh, Chris my Lord. Look at this comment. Chris had to get rid of Sebastian so he would never tell Seth the truth. What else had happened to him so he could get his daughter? Are you freaking kidding me? You pinned that comment? And now you're going to read it. Wow. Sebastian, so he would never tell Seth what had sure, happened to him. Easy. I love you, So Tim. he could get rid of his daughter. Ain't That's a possibility. Good. And, you know, I'm beginning to wonder about that court thing. Oh, no. Which I never said anything about the court thing myself. But it is in the back of my mind. Because what if? Hey, Slimy. Did you read the divorce papers? Unfortunately, all this paperwork's just flowing all over the place. Did you bother to read any of that? I don't think so. Oh. You go on hearsay. Gotcha. They were scared he would get in the court. Not only testify oh, for... Oh, my Lord. Nina. <coughs> Pardon me. But. You not get how ridiculous you sound. According to everybody, all of you, Sebastian was moving in with his dad. So there was no more issue. Right? Problem solved. Mm. Just say. Say other things, maybe. You know about other things. And get other people to listen where nobody else has. I don't know. You know. Um, you know that's something. We may never know. And I, I don't know if. You know Seth could ever get that information. Just for his own peace of mind. She like not the way it's being pushed. That's my issue with it. The way it's being. Shoved down people's throats even when he's just in a chat the other day I was listening to Spanky to see if I could even review that ugh ugh anyway and he was texting and calling Seth while he was live he wanted to send him dinner so he couldn't reach him so he sent him money then he proceeded to push his cash out they're putting it out there that he's not working because he's looking for a son, but yeah, that's not it. Is there any way we can um, reach to, because if the t-shirts are going for to help with the billboards and stuff, Duchess, I definitely want to get one. If not, if you have a fund, uh, I'd like to have a t-shirt and donate to... I'm, I think the billboards are a great idea. But as a parent, you know, speaking of said, that's something that I would try to find out if he was subpoenaed and, you know, the details on that. If, if he's not, you know, found or... You know, when my nephew Luke, he was 23 when he went missing. 
we didn't get much assistance from law enforcement. Um, you know, because he was 23. And he'd been in, like, he'd been to the county jail a few times for stupid shit. Unfortunately, he was an addict. And that's what ended his life. It took a year to find him. My nephew, Tommy, was 21. He had a really good job for a 21-year-old. He bought his first house, drove a nice new truck. His girlfriend of four years, they were engaged to be married. He was also in the military. Um, You know, one of the trips he was away for a while. and You know, they're young. Things happen. It ended their engagement. He was only a couple miles from her and her mother's home because she had moved out and moved in, moved back in with her mother. He had just left there. He went into the state park. He pulled into the parking lot. He was heartbroken that she had a new boyfriend and decided he... <clears throat> Decided he couldn't, he couldn't do it. He couldn't go on without her. He had a gun from the military. Three days later, they finally tracked his phone down. They found him in his truck. Um, The state police did. When I got that call, I was blown away this kid you would have never thought in a million years never ever thought in a million years if he is found or you know i don't know i know i would take it to every lengths possible (coughs) you know I, I would just try to find out everything and do everything I can. And I know he is. I, I know he is. If I caught, I tried to mute. He can't Sorry. probably hold us. He's at a breaking point right now. But uh, um, and I don't understand how these people, the proud feet. That's what I call them, the proud feet. <laughs> and yes, we know because he left a note, and he had just found out. He had just left our house. And seen her with someone else. And they hadn't been broke up but a week, if that. And yeah, so we know. Yeah. I know the proud foot. I know what their name is. But what I don't know it? how they sat in their camper three and a half hours away. And supposedly, Sebastian walked off. You know, I, I can see Chris doing that, but what is his mother's problem? What is Katie's problem? What if Sebastian comes back? See, she was tired of handling. You, him. you understand why they're not there? Do you not get it? It wasn't even safe for them to be in their own home. Do you not understand that? Do you really think that mother wanted to leave the one place that? he would come back to those weirdos out there didn't give these people these people were chased out of their own home because of people like you accusing them of everything under the sun without any proof and spreading all this misinformation and I'm sorry but the ex-wife That interview did nothing but amp it all up even more. That's what you should be concerned about. That they actually had to leave their home for their own safety. That's disgusting. That is beyond sickening. But you don't see a problem with that. Because you don't believe that. You think they're just out there vacationing, having fun. You're a really sick, twisted individual. Him too. 
And look, y'all, we can say he's 15, he's 15, he's 15. He just turned 15 in December. So? And he's not. He's, we say autism is brilliant, okay? And they are. But he still don't have the mind of a 15 years old. Now, um, I know that probably don't make, that probably goes over. Oh, thank you, Dynamite. Thank you, honey. I think that probably goes over some of y'all's head. And I don't have all right to explain that, but. Yeah, Mystery, he totally went all, all over it, yeah. They are in a camper because that's where CP stays when he is working out of town. He is actually working, Smiley. She doesn't want to be there by herself. They are being harassed. I've seen the messages. Oh, I believe it. I could imagine the things that have been unhoused person. Seems like a lot of people forgetting the first three or four weeks of this kid being missing and just going off of what Bio Dad said on TV, YouTube. Yep. Yeah, I wouldn't, I could imagine the kind of stuff that's being sent to them. I, I, no way would I want to be in that house by myself. No way would I want to be there by myself. You have to go back to work. You have to eat. You have to keep a roof over your head. They have to pay for that house to the day that so it's still there. So they're still there. But because of idiots like you, she couldn't even stay in her home. That's what's that's what's sad. That's what's disgusting. You know, it's just the way it is. It really is just the way it is. Nope, they're not. And it's sad. It's so sad. <clears throat> and BHB plans to spew her bow at the campground during her trip to the... Oh, Lord. Yeah, we're going to watch that next. My concern is, again, like I told y'all last night... My big concern is what the guy that was in prison that spent nine years there, their choice of friends. Remember what they said in the other case? His choice of friends, Candace's wrong choice of friends. Oh, I'm big time worried about these choice of friends in this case. It's not your business. And who was in this house because you see there's a difference here there is nobody was looking at these people oh. and the reason nobody was looking at these people because they're up there in this over a half a million dollar home oh here we go again sitting pretty with all this money or yeah, that they worked for they worked their asses off to pay for what they had you ever hear that a real job so it seemed from my understanding, Chris and them is not the one with the money or they're going broke. But no, they know, don't, Spivey. Around all these influential people. She calls me almost every day. She sits and she just wants Sebastian to come home. Oh my God. She isn't searching because Ellie advised it's best for her not to. Can you imagine finding your child hurt or not alive? Unfortunately, Duchess. I'm the one that found my son. No, I don't wish that on anybody. Because I, that's the last memory I have of him. And the, I'm a medic and I couldn't do anything to help him. A heartbreak for her. And, um, you know, they're living the good life. Um, they're living above their means. And, um, hey, you would never know. You know, JLR even said he had people come up to him in Cracker Barrel paying for his dinner that said they're neighbors and stuff. And they didn't even realize what was going on paid for his dinner and told him keep digging keep digging 
keep digging because we didn't even know what was going on. So, hey, Trev. Oh, hold on. Let me pull it up here. Come and get this. If we, if your child was missing and they made their way home, how would you explain to them that you're three and a half hours from home? You know what? I don't think they'll be explaining anyway, anything, because <laughs> they're, how are they going to see them to tell them anything? I mean, seriously. And they're just going on with their business. And look, Trev, I think mean, at the side of the house, if I'm not mistaken, uh, there is a... Sorry, guys, I had to take a minute. Um, These people make me sick. They make me totally sick. They have no idea about real life. Leave this mother alone. Leave her alone. Hey, little, do you want to come up here, Trev? Hold on. Hold on. Whoop. My computer is acting so upset. Um. It wants you to shut up. That's why. Okay, I'm going to post that. Trev, you can come up here. Yeah, but I don't think they're doing anything. <laughs> I think it went up there. I don't know if you want to come up here. Hopefully you can see that. I think they have a little uh, attachment on the side of the house. And was I muted I that whole thinking, time? What if he comes back and goes under the house or something? Like I know the cops have already looked, but what if he goes back under the house? And and they've already researched that and everything. Um, I know they say he has the code to the front door, but knowing them. Hell, they probably changed the lock, the pad, because... The thing is, you don't know them. You don't know anything about them. Quit acting like you know these people. That's just the type of people they are. What if he can't get in and went under the house? No food, no water, no nothing. Somebody might ought to go check. Just saying. Quit using my words. Quit using my words. They are not, you are not allowed to use my words. And you, quit acting like you know these people. Oh, no, man. You know. This is crazy to me. You're not Trev. Look, certain people say I'm 12. You ignore those people, Trev. I tell you what. <laughs> and you don't have kids. You know what? Someday you will make a good father. You're sometimes sometimes I have said, if you don't have and I say it too, if you don't have kids, then don't speak. Listen, I'm not talking to people like Thank you, you, everybody. But I guarantee you one thing. Um we need more people like you. You are a rare individual. I will tell you that. You are yeah, very exactly, rare. Exactly, Spivey, but they're not going to talk about any of that. They just want to put out any little thing they can find about Chris and Katie. And they have no facts to back up. 99.9%. Oh, thank you, T. Marie. Thank you so much. Everybody thank T. Marie who it's a gifted membership. Thank you. Welcome to Poolside. They have no factual anything to back up 99.9% .9 of what they're saying.
character. And people need more young men like you. That's a fact. If there was more young men like you, this world would be a much better place. I'm here to tell you. You keep doing what you're doing. And don't, listen, don't don't give these people a second thought. I know I do every once in a while, but still, I'm trying to grow and I'm trying to learn. Just don't pay them. No, never mind, honey, because it ain't worth it. Don't shut that the whole way. kind of mother really hard to open? Because I, I think you wore straw back. crimes go? What kind of mother with a missing child moves three plus freaking hours away? Um, Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, and they took down... That was all for show the first time the YouTubers and stuff went there a couple of weeks ago. Now, YouTubers are back. Now, um, so um, now they've took the uh, flyers down off of their cars and stuff. Now, they don't even have those up. They're not doing anything. You have no idea what they've done. Because guess what? It's not your business. It's not anybody's business. Okay, Nothing I got to move on with her. To look for him. Remember the night he did my interview? He said, oh, for those that don't know, my mom had her hand in the signs in the yard and blah, 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 blah. And I told him then. I was still kind of giving them the benefit of the doubt that night, even though I was in shock. I was like, but I was like, okay, get with me after this and... I need the information on that. Hell, I'd about one had them sent here or whatever. Look, you all, you're right, Mystery. They made them a target from the get-go. And they have not let up. They even stalked the campground where they're at. They were even filmed at the campground. It's insane. And yeah, JLR, JLR, you know, the one that's changed that everybody's so ecstatic about. Yeah. Not just one. I would have bought some. Do you think he did? Nope. Nada. Nothing. Steel. Zero. Nothing. They don't. After the things you've done and said, nope, I don't blame them a bit. Within minutes, you were tearing them to shreds. I don't blame them a minute. Uh, uh, uh. I'm actually happy they walked away from y'all. Want them out? They don't want them out. They don't want them I'm out. Telling you. What? Now they got this. Mm. Do you know that law enforcement will actually tell the parents to not go out there for good reasons? Not to mention all the threats that were going on and the harassment. It wasn't safe. But you have no idea what they've done. You know, you would think YouTubers, especially, especially YouTubers that was in the Summer Wells case that went with would learn after the four, two, three chase bullshit billboards and all the Lamar bullshit and all the calls and the bullshit that we all went through uh -huh. would know of all things that a damn YouTuber don't need to help a suspect help for God's sakes put your who's the suspect? Who's the suspect? Cash app out and coward funding for a fucking billboards and bullshit. Oh, but you can put a GoFundMe up and a cash app up for living expenses when you're already getting, you know, because you got people believing you're off work because you hurt your shoulder looking for your child when you didn't. And is he not getting benefits from his job huh but it's wrong for a billboard right okay yeah I know there was no fairy stuff with Summer Wells but I do know that people did actually get a billboard 
And Chris and Katie haven't asked for a damn dime from anybody. Not one nickel from anybody. Of all things. Really? But, hey, you do you, booze. Okay, look. Hi, I'm Tom Grieve, former state prosecutor and USCCA network attorney. I want to tell you about a free self- No. What is this? Okay, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I don't think I need to be louder. <laughs> oh. You do use okay. booze. I'm done with you. Okay, we're going to move on. Hey, Lolly. Because- She's she's infuriating and it's getting late and I want to get into um uh, 111 true crime and her panel. Uh, I didn't even know. Who this person was until this case. Never heard of her. Actually, I, n I never knew of most of these people until this case. But she's got a lot. Oh, Dylan Rounds. Oh my God. Plea deal made. Dylan Rounds located. That's so sad. Idaho for good guy, bad guy. Who is who? Oh my god. I can't. I cannot. Is she a clickbaiter like Dolly? Because Dolly's gross. Dolly is gross. And I believe it's. Oh my lord, you should see this about let me show you her thumbnails. This is too much. This is too much. And then we're gonna get in because there's only a small part of this. But like I said, I will bring up the article, the articles, but they're very long, detailed articles, and I'm not gonna read them all, but I will in the description put the links to the articles. Look at this. Don't ask that. Good guy, bad guy, who is who? Sebastian Rogers. OMG, when the math begins to add up. Sebastian Rogers. Why would anyone do this? Lie detector test order. Shocking secrets told. Dad shares ugly truth of what happened to Sebastian. OMG, OMG. Oh my lord. Ask the right questions. Sebastian Rogers, Texas Roadhouse. Last proof of life. Oh, and there's more. It's It just goes on and on and on. Oh, my God. CPS called by the school on stepdad. No shoes, no coat, no phone. Oh, where do these people come from? I believe, let me make sure, I think it was this one. It'll tell me where I left off. Yeah. We need a digital flyer from TBI. Okay. They're demanding things from TBI as well. They want digital flyers. They, like, you know, these people are all acting like TBI has done absolutely nothing. And TBI, I believe, has pulled out all the stops. <laughs> uh, let me get rid of his chat or her chat because I don't want to see her chat. Okay, let me make sure this is the right one. Hi. So if mods, if any of you aren't, we're looking. Finally, I found a bra that's well made with panel. older women in. In mind, Moonabral is the soft all over that yard. And if they smelt it, they would have went to the car. Okay, this is just her so talking. To me, 
I'm at the handout point. And there's a long ways between here and Alaska with a lot of country in Canada. What? That's a horrific thought. No, that's not I it. I mean, okay. I'm just going to tell you it's now. the next one. Oh, yeah. she She's convinced there's a handoff point. Yeah. Yeah, she's convinced there is a handoff point. Oh, maybe it's this one. I thought I saved it. Oh. Okay. I thought I saved it. So or she had the panel. Yep, this is oh, yep, this is it, because this is the one smiley. She had slimy on her panel. So this is it. Down in history for researchers as an unsolved case. Okay. Mm. Here we go. I won't keep y'all on here all night, but I want to ask you, like, how how did um there's co just a couple more. How would um how come Ellie do you think hasn't publicly cleared you? Like in the public cleared you. Come out and said, Hey, oh, no, she's their showing parents are clear. Because I know what you've said, Chris. Right. But Why? They can't. Why? Because the investigation Protocol. is still ongoing because Sebastian is still missing, which is why they came out and clarified that, no, we are not suspects. And yes, we are. Um, if, if it, I mean, if you're not guilty, the first thing that they would do, just like with Elizabeth Smart, is come out and say, he, you know, they're not guilty. Same thing with Brandy. I mean, Brandy Neal, Monkey, uh, Michael Monkey Vaughn's mom. Um, I mean... I, that's what they're going to do. I mean, they're not going to, and others in the news, that's just who I think you're familiar with. Um, but that's what they're going to do. They're not going to like, just allow you to be now, sitting there in the public eye and take all this criticism and stuff. I, so Any of the videos that I'm showing anything of will be in the description with the links. Because I, here's, there's so many agencies involved in this investigation. I agree. And I mean, across the board, and, and know, you think of an alphabet, it's probably involved, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. um, but at the same time, I have begged and begged and begged, and so has my wife. Seth, when he was at the house before, mm -hmm. same thing. We all asked, why can't you come out and just say it? Y'all told us to our faces. Mm -hmm. You know? And our, the response we get because it's an ongoing investigation and protocol does not allow us to do that. And that is the answer we're given. And I'm not saying you're, I'm not saying you're telling a lie. I'm just wondering why, you know, because I would be demanding. <laughs> I really would be demanding. Oh, I'm just trying to think, it was you know, not her. I would do everything I think it in was my power to. In, or not ju justice for all. Who did the, who did the panel? Wait, let me see. I was, get all of these mixed up. Not, not, not Spanky, the other one. The female version of Spanky. <laughs> Not Justin. I was surprised on who she had on her. Pandora's box just opened. <laughs> no, that's Spanky. Now, why won't her channel come up? Oh, he has guidance up. Oh, my Lord. Oh. You know what? I need a break from this anyway. Let's have some laughs. Let's watch Betty. While I find the other one. I know I saved it. I just got to find it. I purposely saved it, so. Oh, 
but he's streaming everything the same on all her channels. Why, Chris? Why? She actually did a live saying, how would you commit this crime? Are you freaking kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? Wow. Oh, I, you, Betty, you're as bad as they come. I'll just, if I don't show that other video, I'll just save it for tomorrow and I'll change my description. Um, I know I have it saved though. Sebastian Rogers, premeditation. We went over that one. Oh. The how would you commit this crime? What the hell is wrong with her? What crime? What crime? Okay. Let's hear what Betty got to say. Have you heard of this? Now, normally I would watch before I play. Take any dirty but I need, I need some laughs. So and watch the phone. I'm going to play. I'm hoping Betty don't. Oh, yeah, what your thoughts are. This is related to a 15-year-old boy, uh, autistic boy. His name's Sebastian Rogers. He went missing on February 26th, yes. around 6, well, between midnight and 6 a.m. We know. Okay, you guys are impatient. So I, <laughs> so I was going through, you know, there's a lot of behind the scenes, and I don't think you guys ever kind of get the behind the scenes, us working through a an issue. For example, a lot of people had to wait for somebody to tell them that that oh. video at the Speedway didn't hold water before they realized it didn't hold water. Um, no. That video that we uh, dropped that actually knew from the get go, Betty, unlike you. Yeah, I know you dropped all kinds of videos. I know M shows you how to process the information. So you find out if it has holds water. So you don't have to ask somebody. So that's what you guys were watching. You guys were watching us work through a process because we had no information yet. Yeah, did we get some information today that said that um, that that did, that video over there at that gas station didn't hold water? Yes, today, later in the morning, we started that started making its rounds. Well, I recorded that video wee hours of morning, so that information wasn't available to me. But the ending result was still the same. There's no way that that speedway could hold water with the timing of what we know to be true with Chris. So that eliminated that. We didn't need somebody to tell us that it doesn't hold water or it might not be Sebastian. The information led us to believe that it couldn't be. So um, I hope you guys go back to that video now that, you know, we do know this information and watch how the, the how it's processed. Watch how we got to the ending result there, because that's stuff that you're going to need to use, especially when you have law enforcement not giving you any information. We've been working around the clock, I can tell you. Nights, weekends, mornings, two, three o'clock in the mornings. We have been working this case. We've been trying to find out where Sebastian is. And so we have been looking heavily and highly at the two people that we believe may hold the key to where Sebastian is. And that is Chris Proudfoot and Katie Proudfoot. Okay. We've been talking. If, if that's true, then Betty, why was, why was he even giving the, the divers? I mean, there's even a phone call to prove. Um, he was helping with as much info as he could. Uh. Thinking about this for a couple weeks now, and it's been a, a breath of fresh air to hear Nancy Grace. And, oh, and I'm telling you, when we, her we idol. us as a team, we're behind the scenes, we're working, we're chatting, we're, you know, theorizing, we're doing all this stuff. But I got to tell you, when we heard oh, Nancy God. Grace's 19 minute video, we were just like, and I went back there and I said, see, this is what I'm talking about. You guys rock. I told my team, I said, you guys are a bunch of rock stars. When we start analyzing these cases to the likes of professionals and people like Nancy Grace, and we are spot on in our assessment, we're doing a great job. And while I understand that you guys don't get to see that work behind the scenes, you guys can only get to see kind of the final product, our conversations about the stuff we discuss behind the scenes. I can tell you this thing with the Nancy Grace. It, I was very, very happy with my team um, when I heard the Nancy Grace commentary. We're going to go to Nancy Grace right now. I know that everybody and their mother is playing this, but I have some very, very specific places that I want to go. So we're going to go there. But before we get to the Nancy Grace thing, I want to talk about Narcid Diver. Okay. 
Narcan Diver is a creator that um, I don't, I've never personally met, but I have learned about from the Riley Strain case because of the whole debacle with Cajun Navy. Cajun Navy literally took the credit for Narcan Diver on a national broadcast, which I think is disgusting. But you know what? The United Cajun Navy is a bunch of pigs. Okay. And I don't, I don't, um, like their group, they will never get the support of Bullhorn Betty. And from this point on, if I ever hear them involved in one of my cases or a case that I'm covering, I'm going to make sure that all of the alarm bells are raised to whomever is working with them. I don't trust them. I don't like them. And I will always forever from this point forward, after seeing the kind of crap they did in the Sebastian Rogers case, they will be denounced each and every. every time by this channel um, until such time until such time they take responsibility for their actions and change their evil ways then we can start working on them and getting mm -hmm. them where they need to be but if they don't think they have a problem then there's nothing we can do to help them um knock a diver there's some some stuff here guys that you really need to listen to i've listened to several creators today talking about this narked diver interview and to me i feel like every last one of them missed the mark i really do just about every last one of them. i haven't watched everyone that i watched i felt missed the mark uh missed the mark greatly why because they're so worried they're so worried and focused on the the dog scent hit in the pond because people are coming into this case and forget information at the beginning of this case i don't know how many times law enforcement needs to come to the public and let the public know that yes they acknowledged a hit okay let me be very clear they acknowledged a hit guys you know what they said about the hit it was a false positive. So now everybody's listening to all these uh, recordings. Oh, Betty, I was muted. Sorry. I watched some of the video on Savages Live. They were in a freaking mud hole. They were in a mud pond that was up to their ankles. It was a freaking joke. They were a freaking joke. All the while getting tons of money coming in because hmm. the 911 and the dispatch calls are released and they forgot law enforcement has already explained the dog and that retention pond away hey marcia so now everybody is refocused on those those footprints in the retention pond and we're going to get to that because i think that, that yeah it the way she just madeline i remember that story so well and then when not too long ago when that psychic medium slash person was trying to tell say that that julia was her yeah oh that was a whole mess just that child just vanished yeah exactly that is a key issue okay we're going to get to the, the the key i do think it is a key issue and you're going to listen okay not justin for all but the female one that goes i thought hers was justice for all too or something to that effect i had it saved and now i can't find it um, to my theories on that, because I believe that it's possible that all of that was staged. It is possible. But, and that could have been the reason why they were so adamant that it was a false positive hit. But yes, I'm not so going to go into that I'm just right now. It's going to be later you? down in the show of here. So the, the Narcan Diver, where I believe everybody has missed the boat, is, well, thank you, Rusty, five months member. She loves each of you. Hugs and kisses, hugs and kisses. Sorry, I have been working nonstop for the last several days. So uh, just FYI. Um, Jay is so long justice. story short. Yes, thank you, Sleeping Data Thoughts. Chris took a ride with law enforcement. And this, to me, was the literally breaking news that everybody missed. They missed the stinking mark. And she's a... A pretty big channel. I'm really kind of surprised. Uh, of what I found. Focusing on obsolete shit that's already been explained over and over again. In my opinion. Oh. Not to offend anybody, but I'm... How did they miss person, the mark? Okay? And what I don't understand is why this J is for justice also had slimy on her panel 
Not only did the 111, which I understand because they're both slimy, but J is for justice also. And this, and had Trev time up. And they had some things to say. And we're going to get, I, I, I want to review this because I took the time to find the articles and stuff for you guys to go back and read. Um, they just, uh, I know people like her, she's big, but hey, uh, it is what it is. But that's next because Betty's not going to be Chris got that. into a car with a patrol, a patrolman. And went around and drove from site to site with law enforcement. Okay. He was the only one in that entire family that was taken for this ride along. Okay. We've been doing this for a really, really long time. Not as long as me. No, you haven't. No, you haven't. You're about, what, two, two and a half years in, Betty? Uh, no, you haven't. And you still don't know your ass from all on the ground. So, <laughs> there you go. Penny? Longer than most, but we've been around the block a time or two because this is our business. When have we ever known? Oh yeah, anybody to she really likes JLR. Yes, she does. Get in the car with a cop to go around to these locations. You guys remember the last time we had a ride along? You guys remember? It was just recently too. It was in the Audrey Cunningham case, and the ride along was Stephen McDougal. Remember that? So, Chris thinks this is a bragging right. He knows more than anybody else in the family because he got this ride from law enforcement. And we touched on it earlier at the three o'clock one with the pre-record, the premiere. I want you guys to hear. You're talking two completely different cases here, my dear. Oh, I know what was wrong with me today. I didn't have no coffee this morning. I forgot to go get coffee yesterday. Because I only drink a, a, a cup in the morning. Coffee don't do shit for me as far as like keeping me awake and stuff like that. It never did any of that. I could drink a pot of coffee and lay down and go to sleep. But I think that's what was wrong with my mood today. Maybe it's not just this all getting to me. But yeah. You know, sometimes these stories. And I'm not a true crime channel. You know that. I guess I'm considered a call-out channel. But what I do do is when I'm going to review this pig sitting right here or any of the other ones, I take the time to find out about the case because otherwise I won't comment on the case and I'll pla and you know I don't. I'll fast forward through it. <clears throat> Though, I am going to be doing the Karen Reed case. I'm so into that case. I Oh, my God. And uh, I do want to go over the Shonda Von Ark situation but um no oh, sometimes they can get to you it is it, it's it, it's just sometimes not get to you but sometimes it can touch you in ways you don't think um especially when you've been through similar and you know that they're not telling the truth uh, in their reporting or covering of a case. Uh, you know, and I was a nurse and a medic for years. So, you know, I've worked with the police officers out in the field. Hear this. This is ultra concerning to me. This tells me that law enforcement have put their sights on that man. Uh, and what? No, it doesn't, Betty. No, no, it doesn't. Law enforcement has knows exact. They have his whereabouts. They know exactly where he was. He wasn't home, Betty. He hadn't been home, Betty. You don't know your ass from the hole in the ground. So how are you going to know what law enforcement would do? Is it because you've been in the back of a cruiser many times? Just asking because, you know. That's public info, and you talk about it all the time. But those cases have nothing to do with each other. Other than there was a child involved. <clears throat> she was never considered a runaway. They pretty much knew from the jump street what was going on with Maddie. 
You don't remember that? You don't remember the facts of the case? No, because I had to call you out on some of those facts, didn't I, Betty? Yeah. And that man alone. Let's listen. And I've got it just about where I got it back. We're going to be right about the 250 mark. So we're going to have uh, one minute of, you know, the update because the, the one minute is all the crap that didn't matter. And the one spot in here that really, really, really did matter. Nobody even picked up on. So let's listen. Oh, Lord. Do you know how, like, how much they actually drained? They drained the whole thing. Okay. So initially when, it, when, it, when they went over to look at it, it was only maybe uh, from the picture that you showed me, there's a lot of new runoff. Yeah, it's a little bit of Yeah. Trying to figure out, so, like, I don't know how shallow it was before or after. Yeah. I'm, I'm fine with that, and it was maybe. Okay. So, so, so the beginning and drain it, they still walked it. Okay, so, so they actually walked it. I didn't know that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, okay, it's coming up right now. Law enforcement put me in a vehicle and drove me around and show me a bunch of stuff. So? Hmm. I'm going to take this back. We're going to listen to it again because he why? says something uh, past that. So they actually decide. You see how he's bragging about it? He thinks it's a bragging right that he was put into. Betty, he's not bragging about it. He's stating facts of what happened. He's explaining to him what happened. That's not bragging, you dumb shit. Oh, my God. This law enforcement yeah, cruiser you know, and so taken sad. around and shown areas. And he was the only one that did. Not the mother, yeah, not the mother. father. I'm going to speed Betty up even a little bit faster. Maybe we'll do chipmunk. But I can only take so much as Betty. Other, just Chris. The one person that was the furthest away from Sebastian. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. Does that sound normal to you? Does yes. that sound right? Because no. in the beginning, Betty, it takes time to confirm everybody's alibis, Betty. Yeah, that actually does sound pretty typical. Especially if they want to talk to him. You know, police have their own way, their own tactics. But they pretty much said there was no foul play by the parents. And they have confirmed his alibis, as you want to say it, Betty. Um... So, there's that. There's that little pesky little bit of information. It doesn't. You know why? Because that is law enforcement behavior. Mm -hmm. And that is telling me they're looking squarely at Chris Proudfoot. No, it's not. No, it's not. They have looked at everybody. Including the mom. Including the dad. Or anybody else that was around. I'm sure they have. That's standard procedure, Betty. They have come out and said that the parents have been nothing but cooperative. That they do not suspect foul play. They even said that about the parents, Betty. You dumb dits. You're a twit. Because of that one action. Them putting him in the back of the car. We've seen this a thousand times from Sunday. Mm. Who do they put in the back of those cars and drive around for information? You be the answer to that. I'm not going to answer that question for you. It's answered for me because I know how this stuff works. Oh, and he was you should. You been bet you he wasn't in handcuffs when he was put in the back of that car. How do you know it was the back of the car? How do you know it wasn't the front seat? I just don't know. You know, in small towns, you can still sit in the front seat of a police cruiser. They're not around here. But, you know. But guess what he wasn't in, Betty? He wasn't in handcuffs. 
Mm. It's the only one, not the mom that was with Sebastian, not the biological father, just the stepfather. Mm. And Maybe because the mom was an emotional mess. Her son is missing. Her son is gone. He's missing. Another thing that just doesn't make sense to me. Mm, mm, But it what it doesn't. does tell me. And it, it tells does me. it make sense to you? Does it make sense to you that the father is out here spewing the things he is? You're in support of that. Betty, you haven't done your homework. But you will turn on the dad. Because you turn on everybody. And then you're going to twist and spin everything about him as well. Every one of you will. It's going to happen. He's not listening to the police. Because there's no way the police would be in support of him hopping from panel to panel, chat to chat, interview to interview, talking the way he's talking. Just saying. Me, law enforcement is doing their job. It's telling me law enforcement has a hell of a lot more information than we oh. even know. It tells me law inf law enforcement has their theories and their own speculation. Mm -hmm. Betty, they know where he was. They have confirmed Chris's whereabouts. So you're wrong, at least for now. And if they know that Katie has passed her polygraph test, then why would they put her in the car? There's only one person being put in a patrol car. Uh, in the beginning, they didn't give him a polygraph because of they knew that he wasn't home, Betty. They may end up giving him one. I don't know. We'll see. So what if they do? They'll probably give Seth one too. I know. He's got... 100% alibi, right? Doesn't matter that Chris got 100% alibi. Doesn't matter. Hmm. And again, the only time I ever see that is just a few things. And the last time I saw that was just back in February. And the person that took that ride along was the person that's sitting behind bars. Right. Okay. That was a whole different case, Betty. That was a whole different scenario. They already were investigating this man for stuff with children. Okay, that was a whole different ballgame. And a whole different state. Now, for doing a horrible atrocities to a little girl. And his name's Stephen McDougal. They are not the same people. Not even close. Chris wasn't arrested for child um, crime. <clears throat> Sorry, Ben. You're off. You're way off. And in all honesty, I wouldn't blame the Proud Woods if they lawyered up at this point. I really wouldn't. After everything that's been said and done, they deserve protection as well. They deserve to be able to go look for their son without the threats and harassment. She deserves to be in her own home home without the threats and harassment to be safe in her home you people have taken that from her so it looks like mr proudfoot's right up there with the status of mr mcdougall oh so my god not what how is he right up there with the status of uh, of steven please explain how And guess what, Betty? As of today, Stephen still hasn't been charged with the murmur. I'm not saying he didn't do it. I think he was 100% guilty, but that's just my opinion. And my opinion don't matter at the end of the day in these cases. I am not a law enforcement. I am not an investigator. A small round block of cheese. Oh, I love the name. <laughs> you guys, I just love watching the different names. 
Hey, Debbie. You can't compare the two. You cannot even consider comparing the two. Because the law enforcement already had Stephen on the radar. They knew what they were dealing with there. Do you not remember him being arrested for the child prawn stuff? Oh, I do. I've never seen such a detailed report. Arrest, I mean, detailed, and it was gross. And I wish I would have never read it. Honestly. That has nothing to do with the proud puts. Now, here's kind of the Nancy Grace stuff. And there's I, I, there's one lady that I want you to hear. Oh, now, I'm not going to go through all of this. Right. And the Nancy reason why Grace. I'm not going through all of this is the because I absolutely 100% them. believe that everybody under their mother is going to be showing this new video with Nancy Grace. And so I'm very uh, specific with what I want to show you on here. And there's one. Um, oh, thank you. It's me, Jen. If you guys received your gift membership, hey, wait please don't I have a problem with that, Betty. Because, see, you're just going to cherry pick little parts of it that suits your narrative and take it out of context instead of playing it out. But yet when someone does that to you, when they just play a clip without taking it out of context, you go all off. Oh, oh they're just, they're clip heavily clipping me. They're editing me to make it seem like it wasn't. No, you see, that's why I don't do that when I review you people. Cause I know better. See, I would rather spend 10 minutes fast forwarding through your ass because then you can't say that it was an edited clip but yet you do that ah oh, it's good for you huh yeah you know what they say rules for thee uh, not for me get to tell it's me chin thank you for being a wonderful mod and a wonderful subscriber here on the Bookmark Betty channel Oh, so there's I one, feel bad for you. It's me, Jen. I mean, she has great, she always has great experts. Okay. You guys know how I feel. Even when I don't like um, Nancy Grace or I disagree with her assessment, I still love Nancy Grace at the end of the day. Okay. I, I, you know, she's, she, I, I love Nancy Grace. They're just, you guys. Why am I not surprised? Of course you would. Nancy is an OG tragedy pimp. Nancy has no problem with putting out misinformation. She won't correct herself either. She won't go back. And, and, and change anything she's put out. I lost respect for Nancy Grace years ago. When she first was on um, CNN and had her show in the beginning, I did watch. Yes, I did. Didn't take long to figure it out, though. Didn't take long. It cannot take me off. I can be as mad as, as, as a hornet nest, right? At Nancy Grace. And I still love that woman. I still love that woman. She's my BFF. She's my, she's my, um, my secret BFF. Betty, she don't even know you exist. And in all honesty, even Nancy Disgrace wouldn't claim you. Even, well, maybe she don't have a line to cross. But I just don't think you're her cup of tea. Or I'm her secret BFF. Nancy Grace, I'm the stalker in the bushes, okay? If you ever see somebody just peeking in the bushes, just holler out and say, hey, Bo Warren, Betty. No, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. What are you talking <laughs> about? All right, so let's get here. I, there's a few things I want to talk about, but it's this. Um, let me make sure I got the right um, expert on here. Here's the expert. Hold on here. I think I got it. Okay, there it is. I think it's right here. Let's, I think I got it right here. But this is the area that I want to talk about. I'm a host of Zone 7. is a forensic expert. Forensic and expert. Joe Scott Morgan, death investigator. Cheryl, you've had quite a lot to say online. This is well, the lady right here. Cat got your tongue because I don't like that. You're pretty. She she's very pointed. She's very you know she she's uh, this lady here. Her her expert here is a very astute person. This is a person that I um, value. Okay, you do understand, Betty. Experts are paid. You get that? They're paid for their opinions. You can go out there and find an expert that if you're willing to put the money out to pretty much go along with anything. Um, that's just how it goes. You'll have one expert saying one thing and you'll have an expert over here saying the complete opposite. And I know that because I've been involved in court cases. 
you her opinion. I value both of these ladies' opinions very, very, very greatly. Not as a um, plaintiff. But I think this or lady... Not as a defendant. Never as a defendant. But, yeah. Hey, Dr. Here Fox. explains everything in a nutshell. And I just want to inform the people. We are all, okay, from experts down to lay people. Okay. Are looking directly and squarely at Chris Proudfoot right now. No. When we've got um, Nancy... No. You've done that from the very start. The very minute this case went public. Y'all jumped on this man and I will stand on it to, to the end because he's a step dad. Grace, putting down the hammer on Chris Proudfoot and his wife, we know that there is definitely something stinking to high heaven. What we thought was true is most likely true. Oh. And that's sad. It's really, really sad. So let's get through this little... Uh, okay. What you thought is true. Betty, that's not an opinion. That's not how you state it. That's not an opinion. You're stating it as fact. There is no fact. There is no proof. There is no evidence. Leave these people alone. And then I'm going to open up the phone lines. I want you guys to call in and let me know your thoughts on this new information. How do you feel about the Narcan Diver, um, you know, uh, revelation? Again, I felt like everybody missed the boat because we... There told... was no revelation. What are you talking about? Oh, that's a good pause. That's a good pause. She looks like a blowfish. Well, that hit out there at that, that retention pond was a false hit. So is that a lie from law enforcement? It very well could be, but it also is could it be. a lie from you're gonna take some dimwits that were doing it for money and actually telling people they had to give them money so they could do this over law enforcement. Okay. Gotcha. B it was staged and they realized it was staged. So let's get this part and then we'll get the phones yeah, over. Yeah, It's sad. Because as long as he wasn't found, Spivey, you know, there still was that little, little bit of hope. But at least now his family can put him to rest and he can rest in peace. It's just sad. It's just really sad. I am so sick of children and the young having such horrible things happen to them. Gone too soon. Way too soon. Sir Duke, what the heck are you doing? Oh, you're going to get it. One of these days, pile zoom to the moon, dude. Seriously. Get over here, you stinky butt. Come here. Dukey do. No. Sir Duke. Oh, you're going to get it one of these days. One of these days. If only, no. when nobody's questioning you. But what about no. now? I want to hear your analysis. Here's my problem. Get out of the water. Cats aren't supposed to like water. Story at all, they should become the focus. Oh, look at you. You look like a grounded, oh, oversized awesome. rat. Nice Come she here. You co-signing? On yes, information, I know. when he sits there and says he wasn't even there, we all picked up on that. We picked up on that. We saw that. We saw that. We saw that. Oh, Spivey, I don't miss those days. But I did like doing the 12 hour days and then having three day weekends until they ruined that. But yeah, I used to do those long days. Bet there's days you've done more than 12, huh? Yeah, Sir Duke is misbehaving. He looks like an overweight, grounded rat right now because he was playing in the water. In the Chronicles of Olivia. But if I have to give him his bat, oh, hell to the no. You don't like that part. Interview about the cousin. Look How would you. he know? Look but he you. knew. You're a hot mess. Doesn't make sense. I know. But you got to get dried now. People use the word thud. That's not sound like he hit the wall. Sound like something. It's usually preceded by uh, an adjective, sickening, a sickening thud. Right. 
And Nancy, you've got other things. You've got mom saying he went to the end of the driveway to put out the trash. And then you've got law. See, she's picking up on the trash, guys. Remember how we said all of this stuff, all of this stuff that oh, we're well, hearing, there's a reason for it. Down to the flashlight. There's a reason why they had to put that in their story. There's a reason. When I took a break, because when you run trauma on the ambulance and then you're working trauma at the ER, there's nothing like it. There isn't. It's, it's, it's a rush that you can't explain. But when I would need to just chill and take a break, I would go into geriatrics or um, the nursery. But in geriatrics, you know, a lot of patients would get just left behind. I'd bring them home. I'd bring them home for dinner. I'd do it. Yeah, but oh, babies. Oh, I spent many, many hours in neonatal. Mm. Reason. The whole, the whole, um, the land, the, 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 the landfill search. There's a reason, guys. There's a reason for all of this. You got to listen to this lady. She's smart as a whip and she's in tune. This is experts speaking, folks. Experts. Experts. Okay. Law enforcement searching a landfill. They're searching lakes. They're searching ponds. If you're really <coughs> paying attention to law enforcement, it does not seem to me that they are Dude, looking to recover. You just made me cough because I was drinking my tea. That is the most What do you want? This. And this is something that we've known in our gut for a long time that law enforcement and every other talking heads are telling us that we're wrong for feeling it shame on us the horrible social shame on you you're 100 boy you hit that now on the head you are so right shame on all of you shame on all of you because the person this is supposed to be about is lost in all this it's not about sebastian for you people I don't even think you want him to be found. I don't think you want him to come home safe and sound. I truly do not think that. But unlike you, I'm not willing to give up hope. And I damn sure I'm not going to come out here and accuse the parents, any of the parents, without any evidence. Hmm. Media people. Why don't they just say that, that we're just, they don't like us talking because we get it. Why don't we just have a little truth serum, shall we? Oh, yes, Slim Jim. Yes, weather can trigger your migraines. Very much so. Just a thought. Oh, you too, mystery? Wow. Headaches, I, headaches suck. I haven't had... I was about... I think I was about 12, 13 when they finally discovered what I had. I... Don't ever remember not having a headache. I don't know what that feels like. So I get it. And I've had brain surgeries that went wrong, which ended me worse than I started out. But at the time, you're not thinking about what could go wrong because you just want the pain to go away. Um, it's not fun having a headache 24-7. I haven't had a pain-free day since I was a little kid. I have no idea what it's like. I, I don't remember because I was so young. Hey, Haley Hopes. Uh-oh. Oh, my God, y'all. Ryan Upchurch just posted that SF Investigates is a fake PI and is insinuating that he is up to no good in Nashville on his Instagram. Oh, here we go with the fake... The guy has legit licenses, though. Ryan, are you losing your freaking mind again? Are you getting ready to put out a new song? What is it? Uh, oh, migraines are awful. My husband gets them so bad. Just a thought. But that, that's the most heartbreaking, because let's talk about that. These law enforcement, we talk about law enforcement behavior on this show all the time. And lack of information, where do I go? I go to directly to what is law enforcement doing because their behavior is very telling to me. And they are searching landfills. They are searching waterways. They're searching in the woods six weeks later. We're not dumb people here. This isn't good. Um, I Betty, they searched the landfill because of the garbage truck. That was weeks ago. Where have you been? You back in that bubble? Some, I told you sometimes you got to get out of that bubble. Um, they're searching, Betty. That's what they do when a child is missing. Just saying.
I've said that and I've maintained it. This is not a good situation at all. Oh, uh, and that's what she's hoping for. That's what she's hoping for. I feel like that also. I mean, Imitrex, yeah, Imitrex, yeah, and those meds. But due to cardiac issues, I can know. Yeah, you can't take Imitrex if you. Um, have you tried Lyrica? Have you considered the Botox injections for migraines? They've had great success with that. It helped my husband immensely. Yeah, Haley hopes it sounds like he's gonna be. I think that boy likes to sue, likes to be sued or something. I don't know. I don't, you know, yeah, he got money, but that money gonna run out with all these lawsuits. I get leg pain with weather due to fiber. Ooh. Ooh. Hey now, Piggly Wiggly is the best in my town. <laughs> Did you watch my live the other day? Oh my God, voices was so funny. But we had to break up the monotony. It was just so, with that slimy. <laughs> That's why I keep making the jokes about the Piggly Wiggly and her banner being $49.95. Fiber <laughs> mm. sucks too, God. Erica had me so sick, my doc only had me on it. Wow. Yeah, it can. Some meds aren't, all meds aren't for everybody. And, you know, people swear by gabapentin, but I can't, I can't take it. It, it totally, oh my God, when they were giving me injections of it, um, it made my brain, my head feel like I was on fire. And it pissed me off because they could have helped me with it, but they didn't because they wanted to see how it would go. Oh, I was pissed about it, but this was years and years ago. My doctor gave me one, this, which is more an anti-nausea med given after surgeries and the oxy effects. Mm. Different meds work for Lyrica. Yeah, just... A lot of people have stigma. Well, that medications for that. No, Medis medications are being used now that were specifically for one thing to now treat other things and are actually working. Botox not help much, but trying massages and other. Me oh man, yeah. When you have oh and kidney, you are limited. You are hate narcs, but sometimes all I can do. Hey. You know what? Don't, don't, don't even worry about that. Don't, because you're in a, in a really tough situation where a lot of the things that could possibly help, you can't take. So you go ahead and, and when you're hurting now, if your pain gets ahead of you, it's hard to catch up. You can't play catch up. So... As long as they're used properly, you do what you need to do. They are searching for remains. You and I both know, and Joe Scott knows, when a child goes missing, the first, the first three hours are critical. We're at six weeks. Six weeks that this child has not been seen or heard from. Okay, six hold on. Why are you saying, Cheryl McCollum, that you believe they don't expect to find Sebastian alive based on, on their actions? I'm talking about LA law enforcement. Now, you know, if this, this conversation was being had on the Bullhorn Betty show, we'd be hang, hanging in the trees, right? We'd be hanging in the trees. The truth is, of the matter is, statistics is what guides us. And unfortunately, statistics in situations like this, in, in this time, this amount of time, isn't just never good, guys. There's just nothing we can do about it. It's just not good. Um, Betty, they're searching. They're searching. there's been runaways that have been found that were missing a lot longer than this. Just saying. Lands here. Lakes. Ponds. That is not indicative of somebody that is alive. And again, you've got a child that has gone six weeks without his medicine, six weeks without food that we know. Yeah, if you don't, it, it's, you can't never play catch up with your pain. Um, I have dealt with chronic pain my entire life. I'm now 60. <laughs> I have a pump because of the brain surgeries I had that went wrong. Um, ended up leaving me a lot worse. So... 
And that's another reason why my hair is going. Because it's it's too painful. To, there's days where it'll bring tears to my eyes just to comb my hair. So no, you can't play catch up. Nip it in the bud. Don't be afraid. Your doctor will... There's such a stigma about that. It makes... It pisses me off. Because now people are afraid that really need help. No shoes. And mama herself. Okay, you notice how these searches are being done, Betty? People are shoulder to shoulder. You don't go out by yourself. And you always dress appropriately. Not walk around. Not dressed to be out there. Screaming on your telephone. Talking to your chat. Not really looking anywhere. Says, oh, the flashlight's missing. Again, that's such an odd thing. It is. No, is missing until they show her video that looks like a flashlight. Boom. And then the stat dad says, well, we were sure hoping it was, but we're sad to report it wasn't a flashlight. Well, if you've got two flashlights out there, why are you glad that it's not that? That, to me, would signify that somebody was out there in the wee hours of the morning. With oh, that's right, KCG. You, you're you a kidney, kidney transplant. I mean, it's just odd. What? Before we listen to the end of that, I want to know by the shows of ones and twos. Who actually believes that, that those light sources are a garbage truck? If you believe they're a garbage truck, put a one in the chat. If you don't believe, uh, you know, what we're being told those light sources are, put a two in the chat. Um, I'm not going to say what... Betty, right, I, I don't know what they were. I'm not a light expert. Never claimed to be. But right now, I'll take law enforcement's word over any of you people. Just saying. I mean, you think they're flashlights or not? That, that, I just want to know, do you honestly think it's a, it's a, a garbage truck? Do you think those, because, uh, okay. <clears throat> so we're getting some people in here. And, and so we do have, we do have a one. Thank you for, for those that are, you know, that do the ones. Thank you for being honest. I appreciate that. So we've got a few. No, that, you don't. That is a no, you don't appreciate that. You don't like anybody disagreeing with you. You like an echo chamber. And as soon as someone questions something you're saying, you yell at them and then boot them so they can't respond to you. And you always keep it either on subscribers only or members only. <laughs> Just saying. Which is one thing I do need to do. I do, do need to do a members only live. Maybe I'll do the 111 um, situation. Or, or the J for Justice situation. Stop. For members only. Truly a garbage truck. See, I haven't I haven't been there, so I can't tell what angle that that camera is looking at. And so they're saying that you being there is not going to matter. It's not going to matter. You're not an expert. You have no idea. You can't even work your own damn camera. How are you going to work someone else's and be able to tell anything about someone else's? Please. Pointed to the back of the house, but when we we looked at it before, we put it up on the screen, and it doesn't appear that there's a a roadway back there. So I'm 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 confused. I'm I'm so confused. Are we just being, you know, are they just lying oh, to us? We, we, know we that. have to understand yeah. that this is a very complicated and messy situation. Oh, thank mm. you. It's me, Jen. Um, this is a you know a complicated situation where um wow. you know the parents true she buys gifted memberships and gives you super chat. You got a good mind there, right? may be responsible for this young boy's disappearance. And the thought of that is 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 disturbing. But uh. because of that complexity, I think that law enforcement has to lie to the public and has to lie about certain aspects of it because they have this, this the integrity of this Night investigation Marie, they have to maintain. Thank you so much. And thank you for the memberships. I appreciate you so much. Thank you for modding tonight and hanging out so long. I'm about done for the night because I've been on here forever. And they still have to solve this case and they still have no clue where this boy is. But in my opinion, they're looking in all the wrong places. I, I truly believe. But you know what? There's a piece of me that say he could possibly be in the landfill. But if he's not in that landfill, he's somewhere along that I-40 corridor. They where, already searched the landfill, Betty. Or somewhere near that Yogi Bear campground. I mean, Chris Proudfoot had to get up in the middle of all this searching the, the very next day to go pick up his, his, his camper, which didn't make sense to any of us. And then they turn around and go mm. right back to the same camping ground. Why did he just leave it there? It doesn't make sense. There's something with the camper. There's something um, maybe he couldn't leave it there. Or... You know, Betty, they're going through a very traumatic time. That could be it. You, you, 
there's you don't think that law enforcement hasn't considered all of this, Betty. You don't think law enforcement didn't check the camper out. And guess what? If they had dogs and the dogs were circling the camper, you know, and sniffing and sniffing, they'd have picked something up, Betty. Just saying. With a flashlight, there's something with a three hour phone call, there's something with the door. Why is there something with the why is it so unusual for you that a husband and wife, where the husband is out of town a lot for his work, why is it so strange to you that they would talk on the phone for a while? Well, then you must have well, you don't have that kind of a history with relationships, we know that. But yeah, that, that that that's not strange to me. That's really not strange to me. Just saying. There's something with all of it. It stinks to high heaven. And then, and then on top of all of that, we're starting to hear from people. Now I don't know if this is true. I'm not going to stand on my channel and say it's true. So we're going to say this is an awful oh. rumor that may hold water. We hear that, that Chris Proudfoot doesn't work weekends, which I knew that. I knew that already from out the gate. We've been talking about that from from out the gate. And that's why I believe. Okay. Uh, I'm begging you, BHB, please go search landfill anywhere and get lost there. Yeah, you know, when she goes on these so called, when her and Olivia went to Idaho looking for the murmur weapon, man, I begged them. I mean, she kept pointing out all these dumpsters, but she wouldn't look in one of them. She wouldn't bend down and move a rock. Um, she was all excited because they had a lake. I mean, it was breaking news, people. They had a lake. I mean, I had a blast reviewing that live. I laughed my ass off. And then it was, there was a garden with a shovel. But she wouldn't climb the fence and go get that shovel. She wouldn't lift up a dumpster lid and look at it. She wouldn't do any. She wouldn't get in the water either. I was so disappointed. There you go, Haley. See? What is so unusual about a husband and wife staying? Have you seen Travis Vince exposed recent video mention the Brussels case then leads into the TP group worth a watch? Oh, I watch everything from Tragedy Pimps Exposed. I think she's fantastic. I show a lot of her videos. She's, your dog's too tired to care. <laughs> Cheesy Weezy puts out some good videos too, guys. Go give her a watch. Go, go sub up. Check out her channel. She does some... She gets it. She gets, she gets things that a lot of people miss. If he was home, because I don't know any construction worker that's going to not that's going to stay in a camper when they can sleep in their own damn bed. Doesn't make sense. A lot of stuff that doesn't make sense. I've showed your, your videos, Cheese. But let me get back here. Oh, got my, uh, my handy dandy notes. So I felt the narc diver. Oh my God. Second. Her and Slimy are like twins. Betty got notes on her phone just like Slimy. So I felt the narc diver uh, was focused on the wrong facts. Ellie stated multiple times the dog hit was false in their opinion. Um, uh, our, our hit. Yeah, in their in their opinion, I put it on here. And that it could mean several things. One, staged. Like maybe they learned that this whole thing Thank was staged because night. there was bare feet. And they happen to say the boy left the house without shoes on. So, or it could just be an uh, old scent or just truly a, a, a well, false hit. It, guys, do me a favor, if you will. Hit that thumbs up. If you're not subbed up, sub on up. I'm trying to get up there and I'm getting there slowly. Not like Dolly where he's gaining 800 subs a day. Because um, I'm not spending no money buying no subs. Anyway, um... Yeah, and we also have poolside memberships. But, you know, you can't use the pool for the next two days because we're painting the patio. So, yeah, you just have to enjoy it, it this time. It. And then in Nancy Grace, she's talking about the polygraph test and how Chris, I mean, she calls Chris out and hits him hard in this oh, thing. We didn't Slim go cover Jim, it because for, thank for, for what you I so much. You didn't have to do that. Thank you. Oh. Hey, everybody who got a membership, please thank Slim Jim. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Welcome to Poolside, guys. 
cooking in the almond trees. That is such a cool name. I was covering on this show. Uh, we don't need that. Uh, but she hit him hard with the uh, polygraph test because he's playing games with that. He doesn't want to take a polygraph test. Like I, even the, 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 why would he take a polygraph test for Nancy Grace? Why? Can anybody answer that for me? Why on earth would he take a polygraph test for Nancy Grace? I, I'm confused by all that. I could see him taking one for law enforcement. And I think he felt cornered when she brought it up and he agreed to it. But I do believe that law enforcement told him not to do it. I really do. They don't, that's not giving legal advice. But if anybody should give him a lie detector test, it should be law enforcement. If he's even willing to take one at this point. Which, if he's not, you really can't blame the man. I don't think he'd refuse law enforcement, though. I do believe he'd take it for law enforcement. Because I really don't think Chris has anything to hide. Uh, he has been brutally honest. He really has been. And for that, he's getting hung out to dry. Because he sat there and told his truth. Spanking him one time does not make him an abusive monster, like they're portraying him. Expert in here that we're about to start playing in just a second is sitting there telling us that we can solve this right now. All you need to do is take a I just you know, hope that the to... proud foots know that we're not all out here against them. I hope they know that they have support out here. I really, I really hope that mama knows. She's got support out here. And Mr. Cr and Chris. Because until there's some proof of anything, I'm not ready to convict that man. Be court order for a polygraph. There's never going to be a court order. He doesn't need to go to TBI for a polygraph. A polygraph is a polygraph is a polygraph. So he could literally, if he wanted to put this to rest, if Chris Proudfoot wanted to put this baby to rest today, he could literally... Um, do you not think that if law enforcement thought the polygraph was the end all be all that they wouldn't have gave him one in the beginning when they gave Katie hers huh do you ever think that Betty hmm. you do know that they're not admissible in the court of law and do you understand why they're not because they are not reliable Betty they really truly aren't it's not used as evidence against you it's used as a tool because it can't be used against you in a court of law. Miss Paralegal Eagle Beagle, you should know that. And you should know they're not reliable. Please go and purchase his own polygraph test. He wouldn't need to do it through Nancy Grace. He wouldn't need to do it through TBI. And he could put this whole mess behind us. So the question is... Oh, well, you know, Haley Hope's right from the get-go. I mean, right from the very minute this story came out they went at him and partly because if you notice they always harp and the way they say stepdad they didn't give the man a chance before any interviews were done hey hippie for him good to see you he doesn't know it's a test nope until Ellie says who is guilty? No one is. Exactly. Why won't he give us a policy? And you know what? You know what they say. And it's a proof. And, and this has actually been proven many, 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 many times over. A lot of the times. The perpetrator. Will join in in the searches. Will be so eager beaver. To help law enforcement. Think about that, Betty. Why won't he tell us where he's at? Why does he have markings all up and down his arms? Why is he the one so secret? Uh, Why is he Betty? the one who sees the freaking... Oh! Though, oh, look at that pause. Ooh, that's exactly what you look like. Pure evil. Pure evil right there. That's pure evil. Betty, there's... Number one, from my understanding... The scratches, the little scratches you're talking about, happened after, way after Sebastian went missing. And my understanding is it was the little dog's nails they were trimming, 
which I can believe. Mm. I can believe. Mm. So, why do you keep throwing them in when they have nothing to do with it? In high heaven. And then we find out he may not even have been to work Monday. We're hearing, now again, horrible rumor that could hold water. We're going to throw it out here. I'm gonna... Of course you are, Betty. Because that's all you do is throw out rumor, misinformation. You, you feed off everything JLR posts and you run with it off the Reddit groups, the Facebook groups. That's all you do do. You shouldn't be putting it out here. But don't you worry, honey. Law enforcement is quite, they are well aware of Chris's activity. You don't need to be. Law enforcement does. That's who needs to be. And that's who does. And guess what? They're not going to tell you. Because it's none of your damn business. Say it's rumor because I can't corroborate it right now, but believe your But you're going to put it out of here. You can't bet it. But you're going to put it out here anyway, like you always do. This is why you get called out, Betty. This is why you get called out. I am working on it. Um, but we're hearing that he may not even have been at work Monday. So did he yeah. lie about the whole thing about his wife calling him and him being on this, this major crane and how he had to get off, you know, and wait there until nine to have somebody relieve him? To have, I no, he wasn't lying. You're lying, but he wasn't lying been confirmed i don't know you All don't I know is he has a propensity so oh. why are you putting it out here when you don't know in fact you know it's not factual but you're okay with that because it gets you views because betty if you don't do it you don't get views see for me yeah do i want my channel to grow absolutely but i'll do it the right way I'm not going to get on here and lie about people. I'm not going to pass out misinformation. I'm not going to dox people. I am not going to accuse families of something that there's no proof of anything. And eventually, I'll get to wherever I'm meant to go with my channel. And I'm good with that. Because I have to look at me in that mirror. And I could not look at myself if I did what you do. I couldn't. He has a propensity of lying to me. He has a propensity of lying to you. He has a propensity of lying to every single person related to this case. And we have to ask ourselves why. Oh, we Casey Anthony. Oh, I'm sorry, but that right there was a miscarriage of justice. That judge did should have stepped in. He even admitted that if nothing else, she should have been found guilty of manslaughter. That was a miscarriage of justice. I'm sorry, but that bitch got away with murmur. Buddy. I knew I lived 45 minutes from them. That bitch got away with murmur. Oh, thank you, Hippie Porium. Have to lie when there's a boy missing, their boy. That is concerning. Let's listen to the rest of this little tidbit from this investigator and then we'll what did he lie about? You can tell me how you're feeling today. What, you're thinking. what did he lie about? Betty, do you not understand that things will come to you when you're in a situation like that and something this horrific happens? I don't care how much military training. I don't care how much this or that. Do you know how many patients I've lost? It's different when it's your own and you're in it. It's different. Betty, things are going to come to them as time goes on. Because they're not in the right frame of mind. Their child is missing. Thinking. And guys, if you think of a location, I mean, by all means, please, please let me know if you guys think that there's a probability. Yeah, I, I, I watched Nancy Grace when she was covering the whole uh, Casey Anthony thing. Mm -hmm. A place. Yeah, what do you I know was about? actually on the searches for little Kaylee. 
about it, heard about it, felt it, whatever. You know, I'm going to be out there on the 21st. And so we need to have some ideas of where to search because I'm going out there to search for this boy. Uh, I just want to. No, you're not. No, you're not. Stop lying. No, you are not. You are going out there to get content for your channel. You are going out there to be a crime tourist. You are going to do what you always do. You're going to record the town. You're going to go walk around ill-prepared, streaming and bitching the whole time. That's what you're going to do. You're not there to help. You're not going to be of any help. You have not been of any help in any case as of yet. You'll spread more misinformation and more lies. And you'll go and record their home, which is none of your damn business. I want to pull my resources in, in areas that need them. Because if we have a lot of people penetrating the ground in and around Hendersonville, that's not the place I need to be. I need to be at a place that isn't being searched that should be searched. Mm. And you, Miss Brilliant Investigator. Okay, wait a minute. You, Miss Brilliant Investigator, know those areas? You do. Huh. Well, Betty, if you're so good, why have you never, ever found anything? Anything. Not a little tip. Nothing. Hmm. Why do you spread nothing but rumor and misinformation? Just saying. And, you know, you never go search alone, Betty. Especially in terrain you know nothing about. Our conversation held between yeah. Mrs. Proudfoot exactly, and Slim Jim. the night Sebastian disappears. The three-hour phone call bothers me because, again, that's a long time to be on the phone. And, you know, you're here. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. Sorry, but no, it's not. Supposedly, he's answering you supposedly during that time, but you don't go check on him at all. You know, did somebody leave their phone just on while they went and did something else? I don't know, but I agree with Joe Scott. The electronics are going to tell the story. When his mama first entertained the idea that somebody had it. And you know? don't think that law enforcement has, <laughs> has not checked the electronics on everybody, including the dad. Because, come on. Think about it. Where did Sebastian have more freedom when it came to the gaming and stuff like that? Just saying. He's he stated that himself that he had more freedom there. Um, you don't think that they're not checking people's electronics, really? That would be one of the first things they do. Just saying, and they were totally cooperating. So they're getting the information they need. His phone's not missing. He didn't take shoes, didn't Boom. take clothes, didn't take money. Nothing on his cell phone, nothing on his computer. Says that he's been talking to anybody. Okay, you go to bed. Exactly. Thank you. Else. I'm almost no done facts. anyway. Well, Thank you, honey. I appreciate you. And you're right. Whenever I hear inconsistent statements, as I've discussed many, many times in front of juries, it's one thing to add or embellish your original statement. Listen to this. Because maybe you weren't asked the right questions first time around. Maybe you remembered something in addition, triggered by questions. Exactly. But when you change your story, that's a problem. So just got Morgan joining us. Oh, so there you God. go. That is the forensic expert that I personally like. I like how she really honed in on all of our concerns. We've been talking okay. about these very... Why aren't you playing the rest of that, Betty? There's. A, I'm going to go watch this now, even though I don't want to give Nancy Grace the view. I've actually um, seen that expert in other cases. Mm, some red flags. But anyway. Um, paid experts are for hire. They just are that paid experts. Anyway, now I'm going to go watch this because there was parts... You didn't want to play because it didn't fit your narrative. You cherry picked what you wanted. Hmm. See, I didn't get a chance to watch this, which is a big no-no. I know. Because had I, I would be showing you the parts she don't want to show you that doesn't fit her narrative. Things about this case for, for literally weeks. And now, and now we're starting to realize our concerns actually are legit in whole. No. Oh, Betty, you look like a blowfish. No, your your concerns aren't legit, and they don't hold water. Water. They don't. They don't. They hold water. 
No, they don't. Um, no, they don't. So that's where we are right now, guys. So, so I'm just going to start talking about the case and getting us some additional information because I'm opening up the phone lines for those that would like to call in and tell us about uh, your theories. What's your sad is most of the time her mom has to call in because she doesn't get calls. For speculation, how you feel about the new information. Hey, Mona Lisa. Someone called in a show earlier today and said maybe they should check the house across the street because he hid over there once under their car. I almost fell off the toilet laughing. Oh my god! Yeah, I heard that. Yeah, I heard they. But they said, "Oh no, he was terrified. He was scared of them. That's why he was hiding under the car." Oh, it was ridiculous. Can you guys oh, hold on? Hold on! Don't 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 move yet. There we go. It's Mama Bullhorn. Hold on, Mama. Bullhorn. I told I you, sure Mama Bullhorn. Okay, can you talk I, Mama Bullhorn. And I had not watched this because I didn't even know she did another live. I was going to go over the other things she did. Um. But who's the first call? <laughs> Hello, good afternoon, Mama Bullhorn. Uh, Hello, my new TV remote. Oh, hang on. It's so sensitive, it keeps going to the Disney Channel, which I don't even belong to. It's weird. Okay, I agree totally with that lady on Nancy Grace. I agree all of the suspicions we have had. She's validating. Um, no, she's not. Your daughter, Terry picked the part she wanted to play so that it fit her narrative. But Betty, now I'm going to have to come back out tomorrow. I'm going to watch that interview and I'm going to show the parts you didn't want to play because they don't fit your narrative. You can make anything fit your narrative. Just clip it at the right spots. Why? Okay, I'm like you. Why did Chris go... Nope, she don't have his picture on the screen. She's not caring about him. She's caring about the numbers she's getting. She's caring about Grifton. Um, she needs to worry about 17th. Because that's a big day. And she really needs... I'm hoping that the judge finally says, Enough. Enough. Enough with you wasting the court's time filing the same crap over and over again, ignoring the court's orders on what you're supposed to file, and also the constant harassment. And just the way she's treating the lawyer is disgusting. But. Trailer. And then, go back. And Betty, why did you put my thumbnail in the lawsuit? My thumbnail has nothing to do with your lawsuit. Not that one anyway. I wasn't reviewing you that day with the lawsuit. But I'm good with it. I mean, that's fine. Because, girl, you don't want me to tell what I know. The truth about you. You, you don't want to go there. Because, see, I won't sugarcoat it. And you can't say anything about me being attached to the hive. Because when have you seen see me on panel what when have you you know so you can't say that i you said that we were doing it for queen queen has never asked me to do a damn thing for her with you or anybody else so that was a lie actually everything you said was a lie i reviewed your court documents betty <sighs> um if it's in mississippi tennessee can't search it TDI can't search it. Um, and I think that's why they did it. And you don't think that the Mississippi authorities wouldn't be working with TBI if it was necessary. Are you kidding me? Are you really freaking kidding me? Here we go with the Mississippi crap again. Um... There is yes. Uh, it is so much like Don and Candid. Like you can hear him. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. This is sorry. Like, but there's definitely differences. I think we can identify very quickly. I mean, sometimes really you can, because you know some people they don't deal with stresses and stuff, you know, normally. But um, I think it's the guilty. It's it, I, I think the guilty have a certain behavior, and I think it's indicative in Don and Candace. I think it's indicative in okay. Chris Proudfoot and Keith Proudfoot again. Betty, where's your evidence? 
that these people are guilty of anything. All we ever get from you is your mouth. You never show one iota of evidence. Hmm. Well, I believe um, when she called him or he called her, she probably texted him first and then he called her and they both left the phone. Now you know where Betty gets it. And he drove back because I don't believe he was there yet. I think he had been at home in Hendersonville and he was in route to the campground and he turned around, he left his phone wherever and she left her phone and they did a major cleanup. So you, so and, do you think, and then you he think went back to work. And they, she, what? Now I know where you get it, Betty. They did a major, do you know something? You can clean till you're blue in the face. There's always going to be evidence left behind. Always. But okay. All right. Checked in. He went back to work. Probably put Sebastian in the trailer. Mm -hmm. Went to work. And then all hell broke loose. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> and that trailer is in Mississippi. Yeah, that's the, the campers got me, got me a little, everything's got me a little flustered. The three hour call, the, um, you know, the locked door, the no shoes, the flashlight, the, you know, the, the weird behavior the next morning. The I'm not, story, Orion. Um, the, the lying about taking the polygraph at the beginning. I mean, the lying about being completely clear. Oh like, my God, it's not a big major lie, Betty. No Come on. Of him being, being responsible for this, you know, and, and, and his house of cards came crashing down because he, he was no, made out to be his house of cards didn't come crashing down, Betty. They, they have not come crashing down. And, you know, I don't know what's going to happen. You don't know what's going to happen. None of us know all that law enforcement has. But I could imagine if law enforcement comes out and doesn't, oh my God, these people are going to cock a doodle do like crazy. I just don't think that's the case, Betty. I really don't. I just don't, I just don't get that. <sighs> Sorry. Y'all are acting like he was this major problem and Chris didn't know what to do. You brought in the financials, you brought in everything. But, you know, you keep missing the key points. According to all you people, he was going to live with his father. Chris was, like you say, the stepdad. So he was not financially responsible in any way. Not legally. But, you know, he did. But not because he had to. Um, so what? Not to mention Chris was out of town. Working. You know, a real job. Um, so... Where, where, where's this big evidence? Where's this big proof of what you and I know where you get it now. Your mother is saying all this stuff and accusing and yeah. Okay. You should be a conspiracy channel because you're not a true crime channel, Betty. You're really not. Because a real true crime channel wouldn't be putting this crap out there. You know, there's some really good true crime channels out here. There really is. They don't spew none of this crap, Betty. None of it. They stick with the facts. Yeah. Do you know what they are? Sometimes I wonder if you understand what a fact is. Just saying. He lied about everything. He well, did not. Let's back up. First of all. He lied about lie. everything. Okay. I give up. I give up. There's no way in H E double toothpicks that could be a garbage truck because they one went one way and one went the other. Good point. One disappeared and the other one didn't. Good point. Now, um, the other thing is, did they put the mother in the police car and take her riding around? Nope. Chris uh, I'm gonna tell you what. I don't know if it was a garbage truck or not. I know what Ellie has stated so far. And if they eat even if they don't think it had anything to do with a garbage truck. They're not going to put it out there for everybody. 
um, there's a reason why law enforcement keeps things. Yeah, the apple don't fall from fall from the tree at all. Um, I can understand why the the younger sister left, but anyway, um, you know the real reporter, um, the real media. Anyway, um, I I can't. Specifically said he was the only one. Why would they do that if she's the one that did all the driving? It's pretty telling. Searching. It's pretty telling. Yes. Hello. Um. Exactly. So. Yeah. No, our- it's not pretty telling. It, it's really not. It's really not. Do you have any idea if law enforcement? What you can bet law enforcement interviewed Katie. You can bet they interviewed Katie. Do you have any idea what they interviewed her about or if they took her anywhere? No, you don't. Do you know? Well, I take everything Seth says with a grain of salt now, but, um, yeah. Anyway. A bamboozle. I think they're doing the same thing Don and Candace did, playing dumb, playing honest, mm-hmm. playing, uh, yeah, I hope you can. Oh, our poor baby's missing. To pry on the sympathy of the yes, public. Yes, geez, you do. Because that was my problem. Mine was like 10 years old. And it was still Windows 8. And it what it would cost to upgrade that thing. It was cheaper to just buy a cheap laptop. Which no, I'm having problems with. But a cheap laptop from Amazon. Um, it just wasn't worth. It couldn't handle the bandwidth to go live. So... That's why the first, like, six months of my channel, six months or so, I only did uploads. I do miss doing that. I used to put a lot of work into them videos, so I do miss that, though. Um, oh, he couldn't be guilty. He wasn't even here. He was on a great big crane. Mm-hmm. Uh-uh. He had all night. He could have gone back and forth three times. So, so this is going to be a digital case. all night. It's going to be a digital case. Yeah. Okay. You don't think... Law enforcement hasn't already checked that all out. Huh? Hey, you know, I don't know about y'all, but the places that I've camped, there was gates that you had to go in and out of. You know, that you, uh, you, you couldn't just leave. You know, yeah. Anyway, Betty, okay. I'm curious to see what his truck says. Me too. I'm curious to see what her truck says. <laughs> because I even said that too. I said, you know what? He's military, so he might have thought about the phone, but nobody ever thinks about the car. The car gets you okay. every time. Okay. I, well, it's not Mike, even just the car. It, it, let me just explain it. It's not even just the car. It's everything. This day and age, they have, law enforcement has, and, and our government has pushed us to all digital. Think about it. We can't even, we can't even. And it. you don't think law enforcement has looked into all this stuff and it's continuing to. Because like they said, no one's, the father hasn't been cleared. No one has been 100% cleared. Of course they have it. You don't think law enforcement knows to check this stuff out? We get cash anymore. Everything's credit. Why? Because they can track every single thing we spend money on. They give us cell phones with trackers in it. They give us cars with trackers in it. They, this, this, mm-hmm. there's, there's, it it's very yeah. difficult this day because our government has... Had, we have sold our souls to the, to, to the convenience God. Mm-hmm. Well... My car will even tell law enforcement where it is. I know. If I get lost. We're, they convince us that we need this stuff. This is going to help. My, my car sends out a signal. Hey, she's over there. <laughs> oh, good Lord. All right. All right, Mama Bullhorn. We love oh, you. Thanks for calling Lord. in. Thanks for giving us your perspective. I love you all. All right. Love you. Take care. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Mama Bullhorn up in the house. Me and my mom are like. Yeah, Sinjin. Oh, Betty, you've ruined that for me. All right. All right. So. That was interesting. So I really do think oh, yeah, it's interesting. The polygraph. Guys, we've been lied about the polygraph from out the gate, okay? We've no, been lied you haven't. from uh, Chris and Katie about everybody no, taking the polygraph. Haven't. We find out that only one person took a polygraph. We don't know the results of it because the people telling us the results of it. Betty, you go give an interview with someone like Nancy Grace right after your son goes missing and see if you can get it all right, Betty. Go ahead. Go ahead. Are people that we don't they trust, can't stay out of it lied to us already that we have to take with a grain of salt now we because they've lied to us and they want to tell us like i want show me the proof katie i'd like to see the test results no 
why don't you show us the proof? Why don't you show us the proof of all these accusations you and your mother just made? How about you show some proof instead of just your mouth? They don't have to show you anything. They owe you absolutely nothing. The people that need to know, like law enforcement, know. And that's all that matters. Because at the end of the day, you're irrelevant to this case. The test results for 500, right? I doubt we're going to find them. So let's go ahead and just remove all the polygraphs. Nobody had a polygraph. Now let's analyze the case without the polygraphs. Where would they be? I just believe that Chris is not stupid enough to put Sebastian anywhere in Hendersonville. Um, I, I, you know, we talked about how, like, I know he'll push the envelope, but I don't think he'll push the envelope too far. But because of the information in this case, because of the information in this case, I, I believe he may have made it back all the way to Memphis with him. But oh I don't know. my God. I really don't. I mean, I'm curious. <clears throat> again, for those that are here. Okay, Betty. Seven. Again, I'm going to ask you, where is your proof? Where is your evidence of any of this? Oh, wait. You don't have any. 224-249-6140 if you would like to express your opinion on Oh, here. yeah. She's the receipt, Slim Jim. She has said that many times. She doesn't need receipts because she's the receipt. But you know what she's also said many times? That... The information she puts out is factual because it's coming from her. But that doesn't mean where she got the evidence from is factual. What makes it factual is because she's putting it out, repeating it. Yeah, that was around the same time she said she had need receipts because she's the receipt. Because there's a lot to be had here. And if you do think that Chris is responsible or Katie is responsible and you do think that they removed I him don't. from the house, where do you think they put him? Do you think they took, put him in the RV? Uh, you don't think law enforcement hasn't checked that RV? I'm sure those dogs sniffed that whole perimeter of the RV. They would have picked up on it, Betty. It doesn't matter if the door was closed. They still would have picked up on it. You're such a ditz. Do you think they put him in the RV? Mm, no. No, I don't. The results are not, not the mama. For... This is Betty. Hi, Betty. Hi. This is Cam from Pennsylvania. Well, hello, Cam. How are you doing, my love? Oh, I'm doing good, thanks. Um, I so one. I think that from the time I saw Chris, the first interview where he had the scratches all over his arm, mm -hmm. so I think this guy is such a self- Okay. Once and for all, Betty, you need to quit misleading your audience and quit lying to them. Those scratches happened after the fact. After the fact. Involved person. He thinks that he can hide in plain sight and that nobody will notice. Mm -hmm. That's why he parked his RV. Mm, on the same can be said about the dad. Park. Sorry, but it is what it is. Was in there. I would for smell reasons unless they had some way to contain it. But he he is that cocky mm -hmm. that I would love to know. Has anyone blown yeah, up wise angel. the video of his arms to like really get a good look at it? I haven't seen that. Yeah, we, we've blown him up as long as far as we can. But the, the issue is, is the quality of the image, you know, yeah. because it was from a video. Mm -hmm. and you've got to take a still from a video, which it always never is like a beautiful video or photo. You know, it's always a little grainy. And then when you blow that grain up, it just starts getting more pixely. So I, I mean, when I saw that, that was the first thing that went to my head. Is This guy thinks that he can be he, when he came. Now, mind you, when I reviewed her before over the pictures. She said that Spanky, old Justin for all, uh, for herself, um, did his usual trying to enhance the photos. We all know how he likes to mess with videos and photos. So, and apparently that's where she got them from. And she gave credit to Justin for trying to enhance them. Okay, Cheesy, thank you for coming in and hanging out. I really appreciate you. Mm. He, uh, when maybe another creator and he was like yes I'll just put it all out there I'll just okay. maybe you need to go back to the beginning and go back to things to understand that these scratches and you know what you call bruising is not it's 
sun discolory. I mean, he wears short sleeve shirts. He works out in the sun all day. Um, wasn't black and blue marks like you said, Betty. But you need to go back and find out when those scratches actually happened. Because it was after Sebastian went missing. I believe it was, a, what, a week or two? It was at, way after. So, yeah, kind of has nothing to do with it. Lying and incriminating and just, I, I actually, I think Don and Candace are a little bit different because people who try to make sense and they know to make nonsense. Yeah. I think Chris is cocky and bold and thinks that he can outwit I don't know. I, I think that Chris, I hope gets busted. I feel like he's an ass. Oh, oh he's, 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 he's going. And now that I heard the Narca Diver, when I heard that Narca Diver and I, like, he was in the patrol car. Holy crap. Like, that to me is, like, groundbreaking news that he was the only one. Oh, my right. God. It is not groundbreaking news. It doesn't prove anything other than he was cooperating with law enforcement. He was cooperating and giving as much info as he could. Even with the diver. Oh, right along, and that was so telling to me. It, it, it was just screaming, and so I was hearing everybody talking about the narcotic diver, and they were all talking about the dog hit. And I'm like, you guys are missing the dog. You know what? I did. I did take note of it, but I definitely. I'm so glad you called it out because that is huge. It really, really is. It's very telling. Yeah. Um, mm. God, there was something else I wanted. Oh, did you hear Seth last night about the uh, video of the garbage truck? Did you hear oh my God! I. Oh. the Pascal interviews and for him to have him up again oh nonsense is going to have fun with that one and then I'll pick up where she leaves off oh do you know I was actually told that I needed to quit talking about these people or I'm going to lose my channel that I could lose my channel if I didn't stop talking about these people. Because I'm lying about them. I've not lied about any of them. I've not told one lie about any of them. And I'm not going to stop talking about them. And I'm not going to lose my channel. Because I'm talking about them. I fair use the hell out of this. So they can't do anything. But threatening me? Not a good, not a good thing. Because now I'm going to double down. Going to double down. He, he was, you know, this, this and I know it's going to be unpopular to talk about Pascal. But <clears throat> it is what it is. I haven't listened to any of his interviews over the last couple days. Any of them that he's done over the last couple days I did not hear. But I did hear him when he was on, I think it was the Pascal show, and explained the um, that being a, a, a garbage truck. And I was remembering being taken back. And I'm like, how is it going behind their house? It doesn't look like there's a, a drive, a, a concrete. So it's not the right angle. You know that, right? It's where it, it is not. You're correct. It is not from behind their house. Okay. And that is supposedly a very blown up piece of a very small piece. I mean, it's a very small piece of a, of a whole video. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. You know, he didn't, he... He said that he can say that it was definitely uh, a garbage truck, but I know one creator pointed out about the flashing lights that all of the garbage trucks have flashing lights. And yeah, I'm sorry, I don't remember that, who it was. Like my mom just said, I mean, the, the light sources went to opposite directions. I forgot all about that. I'm so focused. You know, totally great call out. Definitely. I noticed that too, for sure. I'm just like, yeah, no, that's why I think that's why everybody instinctively is like, yeah, no, are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> I, I keep wondering because Seth wants to find out what happened to his. I mean, he would, he would, he would tell a, a fib to the rest of us in an effort to keep something. And I was finished. muted. Sorry. But hope, I, guys, our hope for Snoopy, she needs some hugs and prayers tonight. She got some really, really bad news. Hope, I'm so sorry. If you need anything, you know I'm here. Even if you just want to talk, you know I'm here. I'm so sorry, Hope. I wish I could give you a hug. 
virtual hug coming your way. Seth called into Pascal again today. Yeah. Yeah. Pascal's milking it for all you can get. I truly believe and I know it's going to be an unpopular thing to talk about, but it is what it is. That they're playing but if they want to threaten me again and tell me if I don't quit talking about them, I'm going to lose my channel. Bad move. Bad move. Because now I'm going to go even harder control with this video i think this video may have depending on how the elements play out in this case may have oh yes debbie yes pascal has pushed it not only the cash app which mind you is not even his it's someone else's cash app wonder if they know they have to pay taxes and all that but the gofundme too and the figures i've been given are days and days old so it's far surpassed that by now but it would blow your mind it would blow your mind. You too, Starry Night? I did too. Yeah, I did too, sadly, but I did. And it takes a lot for me to unsub to somebody because, you know, don't always agree with what everybody says, but I don't unsub them just for that reason. But the way he handled it, uh, I couldn't. The dramatics, the, I couldn't. I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't. I, 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 mm -mm. And then he's continuing it. Okay, Hope, you take care. I'm here if you need anything. If you need anything, you know I'm here. Mm, love you too, Hope. I'm so sorry. Oh, she's really going through it, man. She just went through losing her, you know, her baby, her fur baby. <laughs> Which is just like losing a member of your family. My my fur babies are my kids, you know? It's... Ugh. Some evidentiary value later down the road. Oh, definitely. I, I certainly hope so. I would hate to see this turn into Summer Wells. And oh my God, I still... Oh, honey, it's surpassed. It's even worse than Summer Wells. <laughs> this got worse. This was bad from the very minute it was released to the public you know with summer wells it took these idiots months to get involved um yeah it, it, that's already a done deal <laughs> every single day i think about that kid if i see those paw patrols mm -hmm. i think oh, her, it, it, her he her called in to talk about the video the diver guy released today yeah he was on again last night too wasn't he he did two nights in a row and then did today <laughs> why am i not surprised and i'm sure pascal ate it up Oh, just the way he was doing that, that interview, the way he was so dramatic and, oh, it was too much. It was, I'll tell you what, for some reason, I was more disappointed with him than I am with any of these people. I expected more. I expected better from him. I really did. It's, oh my God, I'm so annoyed they haven't done anything, but let's stay focused on Sebastian. I'm sorry. Yeah. This is so close by. You hear there's a body. You're hoping it's, you know, going to give somebody some relief. Yeah, so actually, while you're on the phone here, um, explain this whole, because my, my email got blown up this, this afternoon from a lot of people. Oh, thank you, Baby Yoda. Um, from a lot of people saying something about the Pascal show and a body. Can you just fill me in? Because I, I missed that and I was trying to figure it out, but it was all happening right before I was going live this afternoon. So I actually haven't looked in a while. I do know that remains were found. And are you talking about the Kingsport stuff? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, I, I've already got the end on on that. It doesn't sound like it's it's anything to do with Sebastian. It's not, My and it didn't from the right. get go. Or, or younger, isn't it? Maybe somebody who's a little bit older. Or have you heard anything? Uh, yeah, I did hear. I did hear some things. I heard it was never even maybe, considered um, associated with potentially a male that disappeared. You know, several. I think like four or five years ago, there was somebody out in that area that went missing. That they may, that may. You know, they won't be able to tell because it remains or remains. So they're not going to be able to tell until DNA is done and, and all. Uh, oh, no, they know who it is. But it sounds like this is a guy. And they already know who it is. And it's been out on who it is. You really don't pay attention, do you? It sounds like there yeah. was a guy that was missing in that area several years ago. Mm -hmm. Well, I hope his family gets some kind of peace of mind. It's so sad. Right. Right. It's one of our cases. Bye. You too. Bye-bye. Those are blowing up. What is going on? And and I thought maybe it was another. I'm like, man, you know, because it's almost looking for Riley Strain. Look at Brian Laundry. Look at how many how many cold cases they were able to, to close searching this entire country for Brian Laundry. How many people did we find? Like six or seven? You, I think, you, for whatever reason, I almost want to say it was like, You didn't find anybody. 
You have never found anything or anybody. Stop taking credit for what you haven't done. But nine people. Nine people. <sighs> that blows my mind. Wait this a minute. I, I didn't I didn't see Pascal today. Pascal did not touch that soundboard today. It was obvious to me that he saw the criticisms this weekend and is trying real hard to not act like he was last week. Hmm. I, I didn't get to watch it yet. I will, though. Hey, Petty Crocker. Yeah, in the South, everybody has little sayings. Yeah, but you can't. Oh, these people. Yes, how are you doing, Miss Betty? I am doing well. Who's this and where are you calling from? Columbus, Georgia. Well, it's nice to see you or nice to hear from you. Is there something that you uh, feel about this particular case with Sebastian Rogers? Oh. Um, along with my wife, all the way better than I do. Oh, okay. So, what you do you disagree think? that there was something going on in that three hour phone call? You think there was something? Yeah. What do you think, what do you think uh, was going on? Do you think it was just a, a strategy to throw the case off or do you think that there was something more there? It was a strategy, a strategy to cover up whatever was going on. It gotcha. was, oh my God, where does she get these people? Where does she find these people? Okay, mystery. Oh, you just take care and you get rest. My headaches suck. Meds kicked in. Good. I'm glad you took something good. Hopefully you'll get some relief. Gotcha. Yeah. What do you think? Where do you think that, do you think that they put Sebastian in the Hendersonville area or, or are you kind of like me where you feel like he's further out? I, he's further out. Yeah, I think he's farther out. I don't think I don't think they are. I don't think they will put him because they're ex-military, yeah. so you know they know what's going on. Yeah. I, I'm thinking so too. I'm thinking so too. And what's your name, love? Crystal Lawrence. Oh, well, Crystal, it's nice to hear from you. I just want to thank you and your hubby for calling in. Oh no, I don't. Well, thank you. Have a blessing. You thank too. you for all that you do. Oh, uh, no problem. No problem. God bless you guys. You too, love. Uh -huh. Bye. -bye. Oh, a husband and wife duo. I love it. I love it. You know what? I think I, I honestly wish more men. Would no, what you like is that they're. Buying your lies you're putting out. You've got this man convicted. You've got Sebastian deceased. You're gross. But then again, you're the one that wants Summer Wells declared deceased. You want children euthanized. So. Crime. We could use some muscle. You know, we could use some muscle. This is Betty. Hi, Betty. How are you? I'm doing well. Who's this and where are you calling from? This is Elise, and I'm calling from Baltimore, Maryland. Well, it's nice to see you. Nice to hear from you. So what do you have to contribute on this crazy case related to Sebastian Rogers? Oh, God. First and foremost, my heart is just so with Seth. I'm so concerned about that man. I was stressed he's in. He oh, just my going. God. So with Seth. Stop it. Stop it. Seth isn't the only one with a child missing. Dawson and drained and worried and scared. I just pray nonstop for him and his family and that Sebastian just show up and show out on us and just say, I'm back, you guys. Um, deep in my soul, I feel like he's alive. I don't think he's gone. Thank goodness. I really feel like he's alive. But that weird flower socks and those crowdfoots, I feel like they're hiding him. Why? Why? And because what would be the purpose? Why? What would be the purpose? And you don't think wherever he's at, that with all the publicity, that it makes no sense. Hide him. I guess because that's been the, the most perplexing part for me to overcome that um, theory is because my question would be why? I mean, he was if they didn't want him there, he they had already worked out for him to go to Seth. So why would they hide him? Exactly. Because, and I really feel like it has something to do with court. Like they, you know, he was going to be a witness for court. No. Um, no. Number one, he was fifteen. Number two, he is autistic. So yeah, no, no, nope, nope, nope. You know, so he can miss court. Now, why would they keep, I mean, I think they got stuck in a situation where like, okay, so how are we gonna get out of this scenario? Mm -hmm. I think that's why it's lasting yeah. so long. Yeah, However, Mickey. what really shocked me, cause I've been watching it from start to finish. I mean, you know, not finish, but right, right, I, I, I get, oh, yeah, yeah. following it. You know, cause I'm hopeful every day is like, as soon as I wake up, ask oh, me, I'm with a mom. Hey, cause that was the I first time I heard it. see what else she says. So and, like, call and he said, and Chris's mom was there. 
Oh, oh here we go again there. after the parents. Hey, I don't mean to cut you off. Just give me just a second. Um, so we are, people are already starting to, I was trying to get a stopping spot, but there is something going on on Facebook right now. We're getting some reports in that police scanner and Hendersonville are all on lockdown. Oh, There's yes. a large okay, police presence okay, okay. for Facebook. That's important. Yeah, also crowdfoots have locked down their Facebook accounts, guys. I think something's starting to happen. Uh, can I oh, we got to find out. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So we'll talk to you. Uh -huh, honey. Thanks for calling in. Got are you surprised that they would lock down their Facebooks after you idiots get all of them? Thank you. All right, so I don't know what's going on. Um, would somebody like to uh, inform me or, or give me, what does it say here? Okay, that's great. Whoever that is, go ahead. Okay, we already got that out. Um, so if anybody's got any information on here, and where is it? Yeah. On his, um, let me... Betty has no originality whatsoever. Everything she does is a copy of someone. The mysterious disappearance of Sebastian Rogers here. Let me see what we got in, in this group real quick, guys. Just bear with me here while we... And you're going to believe whatever you see on Facebook. Know like, you know, Facebook posts is. nothing but the truth. Um, they're saying Facebook, but I'm here. And I don't see anything. Can somebody drop something in the, oh, in the hot spot? Oh, my God, Betty. Quit believing everything you hear. If they guys got some links or something here, let me see. For all those people that are out there, this is the Bullhorn Betty channel. We have a few uh, housekeeping rules. The only housekeeping rule we have is that we are all adults here on the Bullhorn Betty channel. We expect um, somebody saying it's nothing. Betty, I think it's false. It might be some false reporting, and it, it would be possible. possible. Look, but we don't she's know. so uh, excited. She thought she was going to get breaking news again. You know how fake she is with her fake breaking news. Of CB Radio, I do have the ability, hearing it's a troll. Okay, perfect. Um, so there is that. So, and, and why people would do that, I, I'm not sure. You know, this is a 15 year old boy that's missing. That clearly, uh, the person that would be doing all of this is a highly specific person. Um, why would you be putting out all the missing misinformation and rumors and gossip that you put out about the 15 year old boy and his parents? It are down. So if the scanners are down, guys, there may be some credibility here because they will put these these when they have. Uh, now you just people. said that you just got told there was nothing and it was a troll, but now you're saying it's something. You see, you, you flip-flop. You can't even stick with your own words. Lock those scanners down like what? I've watched it here in my county. I've watched it in other counties. They lock it down where you can't hear squat. Sometimes they leave them open, especially when they know, like, say, there's a, a person out there that's escaped from prison or something like that. They'll leave those things open. Betty, you just got told it was fake info, but here you are running with it still. This is why you get called out, Betty because there's people out there looking for him as well that aren't law enforcement they need to have access to that information hmm. but if they're if they're um if they're their, their radios are down in addition there is a good possibility t t uh, they're saying henderson phil is still open you just got told they're not you did this with the alleged layla centinello tip or sighting alleged sighting which was fake you did the same thing with the live you tried to hide about jennifer soto being arrested you run with the stuff even when you know it's false. You have been told it's false, but you are still sitting here running with it. Okay. If, if, it's, if it's still open, it's still open. They, it even Thanks, Lynn, Jim. Thank you. Thank you for have, all your, uh, their, their, um, your support. I appreciate the membership. Like and thank know, you for hanging out with something. me. They're not going to shut those completely down. They're only going to shut and go on a different frequency for the stuff related to Sebastian Rogers to keep it from the public and keep it out of the public uh, light. So I'm not seeing anything on it. It looked pretty interesting. Uh, however, it doesn't look like it may hold water. We'll probably learn some more as the night goes on. Oh, uh, my God. Betty, you were just told it was, a, it was nothing. Listen to you. Guys, just keep your... Are you that desperate? Are you that dense you hear nothing you truly hear nothing eyes and ears open please pass this boy's face around oh. there's definitely something here we all feel that there's something not right in this hey house Halloween this baby family. and we've stuck to our guts with that you know we've wavered a little bit on what we I forgot to happen, turn the stove on think... oh I've done that and you know what else I'll do I'll forget to turn the damn oven off <laughs> We wavered on who we I chalk it up to my age. Out the gate, this, we as normal people felt very uncomfortable how this case was not making sense to the normal person. You know, we're not the ones mm -hmm. that are in inside of this situation. We're on the outside looking in. Yeah, we are the spectators. Exactly. We can see things that other people can't see. You know, nothing. In the of it. And we knew early on that something wasn't sitting right in this case. We knew early on, even though Chris was the one that was the furthest away, something something made us gravitate to him. Something made that just made all of us. In every single one of us, where we had that instinct that says something ain't right, and we trusted that in all of us. Even it's in not ain't, it's is it. 
lack of evidence and lack of all this information. We're You're right. To- There's a lack of evidence to support any of the accusations you have been slinging. In the right direction. I don't think that's a coincidence. And I don't think that's just some strange phenomenon. Mm. Something stinks to high heaven in this case. We need to find mm-hmm. Sebastian Rogers. There's only a few places he could be. And honestly, only a few. You know, no, Betty, that's not true. He could be anywhere. What do you mean there's only a few places? You don't know if he went out and met somebody. You don't know. He could be anywhere. Filler on that I-40 corridor. Yet all of our efforts are in Hendersonville, in the surrounding area of Hendersonville. So hopefully they'll start branching out to find him. But we have, do have to remember, like the caller said, we're dealing with a military family. We're dealing with very well-trained people. Even two years oh in the military. Oh my that gosh. It's rough. It's rough. Snow says we have the gift of discernment. Exactly. We can smell BS a mile away we, we literally walk through BS every single day for life on these channels. We hear we hear almost every single excuse from all these despicable people that are trying to convince us, the people, that they are not doing these horrible things. Yeah, Haley, I would have locked down my Facebook immediately. Sorry, but I would have. So, guys, we're going to still keep praying for Seth. We're going to still keep praying for Sebastian. We're going to pray that Chris just puts an end to this charade. You know, you know TikTok. You're going to pray for Seth. Who has put out more harm than good for his son. But you're not going to pray for Katie and Chris. Mm -hmm. Uh, Time's up, dude. I mean, like, nobody's nobody's buying it. Nobody's buying it. Yeah. Uh, You know what? It don't matter what you buy or any of the people like you. All that matters is what law enforcement knows and believes. You don't matter in this case. You really don't. It is what it is. You do not matter in this case. What you think does not hold, as you say, any water. Thankfully. Polygraph test if you have nothing to hide. Otherwise, you know what? By the end of this week, if you still haven't taken that polygraph, Chris, I'm going to call you a murderer to your face. Oh, my God. She just called this man a murmur. She just said that he murmured him. I'm not kidding. She did. She did just say that. Nobody's buying it. Nobody's buying it. Uh, Take the polygraph test if you have nothing to hide. Otherwise, you know what? By the end of this week, if you still haven't taken that polygraph, Chris, I'm going to call you a murderer to your face. Wow. I'm be, and I'm going to make sure it's recorded and plastered all over social media. I'm going to make sure that you, if people don't know who you are, they'll know you by the time I'm done with you. Because I believe you did something and you are lying through your teeth and you think we're so stupid. This is like law enforcement's job. You know why I don't lie to a judge? Because they've heard it all before. There's no point. There's no point. Judges do this crap every single day. There's no point in lying to a judge. Just like there's no point in lying to a law enforcement officer. Just like there's no point. Are you talking about that psych that, um, I think I showed that. A great overview of Betty's behavior on Burnt Toast stream from last night. I think I, I reviewed that from the psychic, the, the one that does the psych interviews or, um, yeah, I, I think I've showed that. Wow, I can't believe she just said that. She just said that that man is a murmurer. Wow. This is why you get called out, Betty. This is why you get called out. And lying to you, a true crime content creator. Betty, you're not a true crime content creator. You are a crama, drama, lying piece of crap. So, all right, guys. I, I got to hear that again. Line. There's no point in lying to a judge. Just like there's no point in lying to a law enforcement officer. No point. Oh, you know why there's no to- point. But you've lied to the judge. You've lied in every paper that you filed in court, Betty. You've lied through your teeth. And you know you have. Social media. I'm going to make sure that you, if people don't know, I'm going to be, I, by the end of this week, if you still haven't taken that polygraph, Chris, I'm going to call you a murderer to your face. Wow. I'm going to be, and I'm going to make sure it's recorded and plastered all over. You know what? I'm going to have to make a little short of that. It's going to be hard, but I'll, I'll use one of my kids' tablets. I'm going to make a little short of that. That's got to be clipped. Hey, Cheryl. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you for coming in. Yeah, we all are. It's crazy. She just called the stepfather 
a murmurer that he did that to Sebastian. I'll back it up one more time. Fine. Uh, take the polygraph test if you have nothing to hide. Otherwise, you know what? By the end of this week, if you still haven't taken that polygraph, Chris, I'm going to call you a murderer to your face. I'm going to be, and I'm going to make sure it's recorded and plastered all over social media. I'm going to make sure that you, if people don't know who you are, they'll know you by the time I'm done with you. Because I've Betty, been- you're not that big. You got 5,000 something subs. Your other channels, most of those subs are inactive. You're not that big. What are you going to do, Betty? You don't scare anybody. You have no right to call that man a murmurer. There's been no crime committed. There's been no evidence of anything. You know, you keep it up. And I hope they sue your ass. Lord knows you need you you need another lawsuit. I believe you did something and you are lying through your teeth and you think we're so stupid. This is like law enforcement's job. You know why I don't lie to a judge? Because they've heard it all before. There's no point. There's no point. Judges do this. Uh, yeah, Betty. So why did you lie in all your court filings? Because they're full of lies. The, the whole case is a lie. You've done nothing but lie from the get-go. You've done nothing but lie from the get-go. Miss law-abiding citizen. And I've proven your lies in those court documents, Betty. Every single day, there's no point in lying to a judge. Just like there's no point in lying to a law enforcement officer. Mm. Just like there's no point in lying to a true crime content creator. Mm-hmm. So, all right, guys, I want to thank you for coming and joining me this evening. I hope- oh, my Lord. Oh, man, I wish Nonsense was still up and seeing that. I'll make sure I send her that clip. Mm-mm-mm. I can't believe Wow. She just said that, dude. Now I can shut the music off because I'm done reviewing. All right. Uh, wow. Wow. Yeah, she really does. I I agree. She needs a restraining order to keep her. Oh, she's physically threatened them. She's physically threatened Katie and Chris on what she was going to do when she gets there. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Yeah, look at how she places herself on the same level with judges and the law enforcement. Yeah. You don't lie to a judge. She did. She did. Many, 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 many times. And not just in her lawsuit, her current lawsuit. She did in Crudes. She did every time she got arrested. She's done nothing but lie. Oh, yeah, she's threatened them. Oh, yeah, she's threatened them. I reviewed it. She's threatened them. Told Katie what she was going to do to her. Yep. And she's headed there. She better be careful. Yeah, I agree. She's headed there. Yeah, she thinks she can, Corinne. She thinks she can. Wow. We call that me. By the end of the week, if you don't satisfy what I think you need to do, I'm going to tell the world you're a murmur. Betty, shut up. Who are you going to tell? Hmm. Oh, my. She's the first one I've been waiting for one of them to come out and actually use the word. Even though they've been accusing Chris and that slime, he says they took him through the garage. Yeah, whatever. Um, she's the first one that actually used murmur. I was waiting for one of them to do it. In my opinion, she's mad that she has missed her time. They're grifting. She'll probably end up in jail this time. If she goes where she's not supposed to and does what she's not supposed to, she deserves it. Wow.
she's got this this child deceased. She's about to learn some big lessons if she goes to a work site to harass Chris or the trailer park. She doesn't make those rules and they are enforced. And she'll try it. She'll say, I'm on the sidewalk. I'm on public property. You can't do anything. Yeah, you can't film job sites, Betty. You can't. And the campground has a right to not allow you to film there either. Mm-hmm. And guess what? If somebody doesn't want you film in their home, that's their right. That's not your right. That's not public property. That's their private home. Yeah, she wants $10,000 for Idaho. Yeah. So her and olive oil can stay there during the whole trial. Okay. You don't need $10,000 for that. You can get an Airbnb. Or an efficiency somewhere. You don't need $10,000 for that. But she's she's doing crowdsource funding, as she calls it. Her grift for $10,000 to go to Idaho. To live there during the trial. For her and Olivia. Well, if that's the case, Olivia has a, a, a much bigger following than her. Why isn't Olivia grifting for the money? Why is it Betty? Oh, in a heartbeat, St. Jude's will. In a heartbeat. Yeah, I don't understand how Dolly got away with that. With that drone. He's lucky he didn't get caught. I wonder if they know that he did do it and he has the footage and has shared it, though. Maybe they need to be alerted to that. Because even though they didn't catch him doing it, that's proof that he did it and they can still do something. She goes to jail all giddy waiting for it. Yeah. Yeah, they're very strict with drones around here. I know that. Mm-mm-mm. Wow, that's... You just... There's no low you won't go. There's no low you won't go. You literally just called that man a murmurer. And you really, you used the actual word. Wow. I think it's on someone else's camera. She does not want to get arrested, no matter she says otherwise. In Savannah, you could tell she was choosing her words carefully. One of those evenings, she was verbally attacking the cops. Yeah. She got a little big for her britches down there. And once Dolly got busted, she knew she had to pull it in. Oh, yeah, she's going to go further with the prop wits because she thinks she can. She's after their money. Yep. She wants them to sue her or challenge her. Well, you know what? If they sue her, she's in trouble. They'll take her house because they've not slandered her. She slandered them. She just accused the man of being a murmurer. She's physically threatened them. Yeah, they were arresting a couple of people that night. Yeah. And everyone says, oh, it's because he was doing um, something on the road. No, that's not why. Those people were tapping on the windows, looking in the windows, all kinds of stuff. That's why people got arrested. Wow. I was told Ellie is a, aware of what she's been doing and they are watching her. Good. Good. Oh, yeah, because she thinks she can push the profits around, you know, because, you know, according to her, they're on vacation, but they're not. They're not. That's disgusting that that mother can't even be in her home and feel safe in her own home. Yeah, some guys don't like being bald. They sure don't. Yeah, she went way over the line. 
Hey, Thor. Just when you think that Brittany J couldn't get more disgusting, she has topped herself tonight. Oh, Lord, what did she do tonight? I seen she was live. She's uh, nonsense is doing her. I'm going to do a little bit of her. I did a little bit of her before, but nonsense got her good. Um, yeah. Tomorrow we're going to, we're actually going to do J for justice panel. Cause I've got some things to show you about what they're talking about. All it took was a little bit of research and, um, we're going to go over that one eleven true crime too. Go look at tonight's thumbnail. All right, let me look at it. Oh, Lord, I know I'm going to get pissed off. Yeah, you should say allegedly, Brittany, because I don't even believe you're there. Oh, a criminal investigation now. More disturbing info surfaces. Day 44. What criminal investigation? More disturbing info. Sir. There's, I haven't heard of anything new from law enforcement. Oh, she's still alive. Wow, she's got a thousand people in her chat. That's disgusting. What is wrong with people? And that's why she's going to keep doing this. Because she's getting the numbers. Isn't she the one who has her kids up all hours of the night when she's live? I mean, I'm not saying anything about her parenting. I'm just saying I, that's what I've heard. Yeah, there is nothing new. And I, it's always been an investigation. A thousand morons, yeah. But they're going to keep doing these clickbaity um, thumbnails and, and lives and stuff because they're getting the views on it. Do you know if I would have put a thumbnail up like that, do you know how many people would have been in my chat tonight? If I'd have put a thumbnail up going after the Proud Puts? Not selling my soul to the devil for some views. Sorry, not doing it. It is all dirty and gross. It really is. I didn't think there wasn't a criminal investigation either. I just checked. I live 10 miles from Hendersonville, Tennessee, and it would be all over the news. Yeah, there's not been anything new. These people make me sick. Oh, thank you, Cheryl. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you for subbing up. And welcome to Poolside. Here we have a pool, and we have fluffy, soft robes, big, fluffy beach towels, nice, fluffy pool shoes, and we got goodies. We got gummies. We got brownies. Mm -hmm. And we got a big, almost 35 pound cat that doesn't know he's a cat. Um, yeah, he's a pain in the butt. And a 75 pound friendly pit that thinks he's a lap dog. Yeah, my cat's bigger than most people's dogs. And he's just an orange tabby, but he's just big. Huh, Sir Duke? Usually he's bugging the crap out of me while I'm live. Biting me, scratching me, messing with my cords. Yeah, he's a pain. But I love my little fat thing. He's my cuddle bug. Oh, my Lord, I cannot believe these people. Brittany, you're a mom. If nothing else, you're a mom. How could you? What more disturbing info has surfaces? More stuff Seth's been spewing? Is that what you're talking about? Because there's nothing surfacing from law enforcement. What matters? You know, then that's when you can talk. But this is clickbait, honey. This is as clickbait as you can get. You are so full of shit you can't see straight. Shame on you. And how many times a day you go live? I mean, dear Jesus, you were just live 22 hours ago for a two and a half hour live. God knows how long you'd be on right now. One day ago, which <laughs> you were live for four hours. Oh, my Lord. Yeah, you're, you're banking your channel on this. 
Oh. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, I know. Mm-mm-mm. YouTube needs to put a stop to some of this. I totally 1,000% agree. I totally 1,000%. Oh, I, oh, me too, Cheryl. I have... You'll meet my squirrels. I, I feed everything. I feed the turkeys. I feed the turtles when he comes a knocking. I feed all the birds. I feed the squirrels. And now I have a bunny that comes through the yard. So I make sure he has. Oh, thank you, truth seeker. Oh, you're working. Oh, well, thank you very much. Welcome to poolside or welcome back. I appreciate you. They need to stay away from children's cases. Amen to that. Mm -hmm. I thought YouTube was really going to make a difference. Um, they were going to stop all this crap. You know, with the stuff, especially with the kids' cases. But I don't know why Betty hasn't been hit for reused content. They were hitting creators that weren't doing reused content anyway. It, it was showing their own content and still hit them with reused content. But here she is. I mean, the first 10 minutes of every video or 15 minutes is her shoving her TikTok videos down your throat. And she streams from everything at the same time. She's showing the same content on everything. I don't know. I thought you, yeah, I really thought YouTube was going to step it up. But they're not. She's acting like she was robbed by not being there. She's so ramped up with the allegations that she will probably go in like a know-it-all with no facts. I hope she goes to jail. Oh, yeah, of course she's going to do that. She is a know-it-all with no facts. I'm sorry, but I can see straight through Seth. He is not the man and father people are making him out to be. Hmm? Yeah. I've made things. I'm trying very hard because this man has a son missing. <laughs> but it's, he doesn't make it easy. He really doesn't. It's, you know, don't tell me people haven't giving him advice to stay away from these channels and quit doing these interviews and hanging out in the chats while all this is going on and going along with it. Don't tell me no one's told him that. Don't tell me by now he doesn't. How a week ago, two weeks ago, he knew. He knew where this was going. Hey, Twin Thing. And it doesn't matter. And I don't understand that. I don't. I get it that. He just, he just wants to keep his son's story out there. I totally get that. But not this way, dude. Not this way. Think about Sebastian. Think about Sebastian. Put him first. Because it is about Sebastian. It is not about your marriage, your divorce, or anything else. It's about him. But he's lost in all this. It is now about the views and the clicks and the money. That's what it's about. He got over 300 last night. The total I was given, and now mind you, this total is probably a week old, was over 23,000. And that's sad. That's sad. Yeah, he's raking it in. That's for sure. He's raking it in. But they're going to go with somebody because they want to put billboards up. Oh, I, yeah, I get that, Corinne. I do. And that's why I'm trying so very hard. But he's not making it easy. 
He's not making it easy. And at this point, he sees what's going on, and he's still not stopping. Hey, Chris, Chris yeah, that's that's what I've been told. That's that's the tally I was being told. Take it however you want with a grain of salt. I don't know. But, you know, when you're getting, <laughs> look, last night he got over 300 bucks just in one night. Can you imagine when he got the first night he did the interview on the Pascal show? And it's just not that. It's been it's been since day one. Oh, by no means. I'm not saying I'm not saying anybody. I honestly I don't think I refuse to go there. I refuse to give up hope that Sebastian's gonna come home safe and sound. Yeah, he has a GoFundMe. The GoFundMe is almost 24K. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, that doesn't include all the cash apps that have been going on for weeks. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Another case where the child gets lost. <clears throat> that's insane that's insane and sadly these people are using him they are using him at the worst time in his life $23,804 is where it is wow and that's just to go find me Oh, he did open up a Venmo? Wow. Yeah, I'm not buying my t-shirt from him. Sorry. I'll buy it through the, the contact the Duchess has because that money's going to be used for billboards. Someone tried to donate to the reward fund and was told it was closed. <clears throat> That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, exactly. That's insane. Mm -mm. And you know what? They will all turn on him. They will. It always happens. That said, send him the reward money. Yeah. Yeah, they said 24-7, but that's not true either. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nope. Nope. I refuse to think that anybody did anything. I'm not accusing any parent of doing anything. There's no proof. There's no, nothing to even say anything like that. And I, I refuse to give up hope on Sebastian. It started yesterday with CJ, what grandma told him, and he recorded it. That's crazy. Uh, from what I understand, someone tried to donate to the reward and it was closed, the one that was being controlled by non-family members, I believe a lawyer or something. Yeah, I was told that they they were in my chat and they said that they were told it was closed. And I do know that he said he wanted to take over it. Yeah, they will definitely turn on him. When they will be making more money to turn on him. Yeah. Hey, Terry. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you for hanging out. But guys, it is 1 o'clock. I've been on here for hours and hours. You guys are so cool. You hang with me. 
and I'm a long streamer and you guys just hang out and I greatly appreciate you. Mods, you did a fantastic job. Thank you. Thank you everybody for the memberships. It's greatly appreciated. I'm going to get my new mic, one that actually works. Yeah, that's going to be thrilling. <laughs> I just, everybody keep circulating his pictures. Don't give up hope. Don't give up hope. And let's not be be like these guys and hang these parents out to dry when there's no proof of anything. They're going through one of the worst times of their life. Let's just keep Sebastian up front period because it's about bringing sebastian home that's all it's about oh well thank you everybody i really appreciate you and i'll be seeing you on these youtube streets i'm sure i'll probably be live sometime tomorrow we'll go over what we didn't get to go over today but again thank you everybody and everybody have a good night. See you around.